York, New York, big city of dreams. I'm coming, coming, I'm coming straight out, out. New York, New York, big city of dreams. What's good? What's good? This is the Nigga Time Show with that Nick's talk in the Nigga Time. This is Edson Sean. Yo, what's going on? This is Jay Ellis, and the band is back together once yes. again. Late member, but you know. Yeah, you know, we got one coming. <laughs> one. The drummer is usually late. Yeah, the drummer is usually late. <laughs> <laughs> but Kathy is going to be here soon, Miss Black Armand. So. Yes, exactly. But to my right is... It's your man Khan, a lot stand up. We in the building. Yep, Khan over here. And to my double right is the man, the myth, the legend. Ryan G in the building. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Well, time to talk that Knicks talk. They had a game today. Yeah. Uh, you got to react and make my shit. Hold oh, on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did Kathy watch the game today? Did what? Did Kathy watch the game today? I don't know. Hmm. Yo, let's so, so, we'll start with the, the, the college talk. Let's do that. Let's, let's start do that. with the college talk. I had to start <laughs> off with the applause first. Yeah. Just because of that. Okay. Oh, the next one. Oh, yeah. Oh, my bad. Yeah, you're right. My bad. We don't get that too often. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. We got to celebrate the small victory. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. Oh, yeah. We beat LeBron. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody taking turns with LeBron this year. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care, man. All the torture and torment that he's brought the Knicks through, the water balance challenge. Yeah. <laughs> man. Nah, that's a big thing. Yeah. Fact. That's a big Pushing fact. Frank. Ditching us for my all oh, that ass. I'm, mm-hmm. I said, oh, hold on. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I'm going back. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going back. You holding grudges. Okay. Grudges, grudges. So I'm happy that Mario stuffed you at the end. <laughs> <laughs> right. But like Khan said, hey, we're going we gonna to talk about that game, but like Khan said, man, he was sleepwalking through that play. What I did. Yeah. Um, Sleepwalk through this L. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, we're in the middle of March Madness. Well, in the thick of it right now. Mm-hmm. And, um, We've spoken a lot about your man Zion, you know, always a focal point. But um, I'm going to let the, the stats and the facts, man, uh, give us some insight because he had some uh, up close and personal insight. Yeah, well, um, I know everybody want to talk about Zion, but, you know, I wasn't in North Carolina to actually watch the ACC tournament. Right. I was uh, I was out on Madison Square Garden to check out the Big East tournament. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, you know, um, teams like Georgetown, St. John, Seton Hall, Marquette, Villanova, etc. Mm. I saw you. Uh, I see you out there in the media. <laughs> yeah. On Instagram, you in the, in the press box with the, the real ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to earn that blue check. Yeah, yeah. one step closer. Yeah, exactly. Don't and um. Mm-hmm. No, no, definitely not. Oh, okay. Definitely not. <laughs> well, um, yeah, I definitely wanted to touch on some of the, um, I guess, star players in the tournament that you might be seeing in the NBA. Okay. Whether it be this upcoming NBA season or future NBA season, you know, if they decide to stay back for another year. Mm-hmm. One player I want to talk about is um, Shamari Pons okay. on um, St. John's BK, representing Brooklyn. Hey, 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 of course. Yeah. Shamari Pons leaving last season. Yeah, but he decided to come back for a junior year, mm-hmm. and it was definitely um, it definitely helped him out a bit because um, the game I saw of him, I saw him in two games: the one against DePaul and the one against Marquette. Mm-hmm. The game against DePaul, he looked really impressive. Like every like every everything he did was like high basketball IQ, smart smart moves. Like mm-hmm. when he was dribbling with the ball, if he was trying to like penetrate, and he saw like DePaul brought in another defender, and he was being doubled. He just he just he just moved the ball around to the open man, or he would just move the ball around and get like the hockey assist, yeah. which usually worked in their favor. If he was if he saw that he was being guarded one on one, he tried to you know create a shot for himself, mm. which was usually which was in that game was butter because he shot seven eleven from the field. Wow. Yeah, man. I heard yeah. he's pretty good, man. I, heard, I just it's the size thing that's keeping him really from being yeah, cause top, he, top top. Yeah, because I think he's a six two guard. Yeah. It's yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. It's so funny, like. That used to be the norm. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's six yeah he's six five and up now for the mm-hmm. point guard. Yeah, exactly. And um in that game he had eighteen points, seven assists, which was pretty good, and one turnover, mm-hmm. which is what wow. I loved. Yeah. Wow. So he showed like he showed an ability to score the ball, he showed an ability to play make for other players. And defensively he's eh, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, honestly, a lot of players, even in the league, bro, like Yeah. Defenses ain't, ain't it's, it ain't, not the it's, thing it's no a more. whole different art. <laughs> exactly. Now. I feel like this. I feel like the Knicks in particular though they're looking for athletic defensive. Yeah. Either athletic people or defensive people. 
Mm -hmm. I think it's like they're trying to they're trying to redefine the 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 the, the Knicks image, the Knicks yeah. identity. Period. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. Exactly. I guess they figured if you're athletic enough to defend, mm -hmm. even if you can't defend, we can teach you. Uh, yes, yeah. exactly. Uh, a la exactly. Kevin Knox. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, Ponce had an impressive game against DePaul. The game against Marquette wasn't too impressive because they got ran out the building that game. <laughs> <laughs> I, th I, think the, I think the final score was 84-56. Yay! Yeah, but the thing is, is that St. John's beat Marquette the other two meetings they had in the in the season. Right. And, it's, and in college basketball, it's hard to really beat a team three, three times because they'll, yeah. they'll figure out what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. So I mean, it wasn't surprising that Marquette beat up on them like that. The, mm. What was surprising was like by how much Marquette beat up. On them. <laughs> <laughs> that was the surprising part. And um, another player that I was impressed with a lot, which I think you'll see at the next at the next level, towards Miles Powell on Seton Hall. Mm. First of all, Seton Hall. Like, I fell in love with this team during the tournament. Okay. Like, this team goes after. Like, that team's a bunch of dogs. Mm. Yeah, and they really go after it defensively and all that. Miles Powell, he's, um, he's, a, he's, he's like one of those guys. He's a dominant scorer. Mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a small guard, too. He's like six foot tall. Oh, really? Yeah, but he, he, can, he gets buckets, though. Like, he, okay. set a, he set a Big East tournament record. Oh. Where he scored, where he dropped twenty nine on Georgetown in the first half. See, we, we got Kadeem Allen here. She. <laughs> <laughs> we got Kadeem Allen here. Still here. We got Frank Nilakina might be here. We don't right, know. Right, Are we right. going to get another guard? On, and a small guard round? at that, man. Yeah. Yeah. Small guard, you think he's going to go second round? Mm, that's where they're projecting it right now, okay. which is yeah. mainly due to size. Because I'm telling you, this yeah. dude. Right. That's that's what I was. That's what I'm figuring that. And yeah. juniors too. People who spend like two, three years, they usually yeah. don't go to the first round. Right. Yeah, exactly. But the dude can score with the best of them. Like I think for the whole tournament, he averaged twenty six points a game. Mm. And the thing too about him is that like, yo, this dude does not back down because like in the game against Marquette, like Marquette was trying to bully those dudes on mm -hmm. Seton Hall. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. they were trying to get physical with them. And and at one point, one of the the dude that was guarding Powell, a man, like he was talking trash to him. And you can see them yeah, going back and still. forth. Yeah, we, 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 see, we saw them <laughs> going back and forth. You know, talking trash with one another. Yeah, that's what we need. Yes, <laughs> we need some trash talkers. Right now, exactly. mm -hmm. right now we got Dennis Smith Jr., but he's been getting pumped. Up yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you know, Powell's there, like you know, like I bet, right? Right. So on one of the plays, right, you know, referee already tried to separate them, but they still talking afterwards. Mm. So one of the plays now where um Cedar Hall was inbounding the ball. Powell threw an elbow at the dude mm. as as <laughs> as it was coming to get the ball, and the referee called, I think, a flagrant on ah, him for it. Come on, <laughs> come on, ref, bruh. Yeah. <laughs> soft. Yeah, but the thing is, like, as I said, like his competitive spirit, he mm -hmm. can really score the rock. He shows some playmaking ability too, because especially in the game, um, the Big East final against Villanova, mm -hmm. he was he was penetrating into the paint. He was kicking it out to sh wide open shooters and. Mm -hmm. That really helped out Seton Hall that game and everything. Okay. Yeah, and defensively, he's a good defensive guard too. Like he might be small, but he plays defense though, which okay. is what I like. Fizz doesn't like hate on him, yo. I'm telling you. Fizz don't like small guards, dog. He don't. Yeah. <laughs> he don't. His whole thing is, if you saw him from the beginning of the season and the offseason, his whole thing was, I want to have big guards who can switch so we can play positionless basketball. Right. Yeah. So I, I mean, it make. I mean, if that's the philosophy, then it makes sense. You know, you can't have. A six foot, even a six foot two guard, and you want to play position yeah. as basketball. That's why they should trade out here. Yo. But that's that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. but that's really what it is because all you got to do is switch a couple times, switch, yeah. Yeah. get a big on them, and then that's so, that's like you're playing four against five pretty much. Yeah. And um, so yeah, Miles Powell is definitely an A plus in my book. Okay. Right. I, I feel like he's going to be a good second round pick up for some team out there. Okay. Um, another player that I wanted to highlight was um. Marcus Howard on um Marquette. Mm. He's another good scoring point guard. Okay. He's like yeah, he's 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 not you know real real tall. He's like, like six two, maybe six three. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he's another scoring guard as well. Like he can definitely he he definitely shoots the three well. Okay. He's definitely good at driving to the basket and picking up fouls because that game against Seton Hall in the sem in the semifinal, like he shot terrible that game. Like he shot like <laughs> one of fifteen. Mm-hmm. But he shot 18 of 24 free throws. Like that, oh, okay. That's how often he was getting to the line. That's, 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 that's like 19, you know, 19, 20 points for the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I definitely take that any day of the week. Yeah, but he did. He killed St. John's, so he dropped like 30 on St. John's. Mm. Yeah, so mm. 
he's another point guard I wanted to highlight. Defensively, he's okay. You know, okay. he's not he's nothing special on defense, but he's he's definitely a good scoring point guard though. Okay, which All is right. what I like. Yeah, and overall, you know, the Big East tournament it was a good experience for me and everything. Right. Yeah, and um. <laughs> <laughs> One step closer, bro. Yes, sir. And um, as I said, like anyone out there who's filling out brackets, my opinion, the team to watch out for is Seton Hall. Like, I think they're going to make a really? run. Yeah, they're going to make a run. All right, all right. Listen, you heard it here. <laughs> Seton Hall. And my man Ryan G is pretty good with these stats. Yeah. I would suggest yes. you take heed. Word. Yes. Uh, all right. Maybe I'll talk about Zion. Yeah. <laughs> might as well. Might as well since we're here. Talk about might it, as well. Man. That Duke North Carolina game. Great game, first off. Can we start with Syracuse first? Oh. Oh. Why not? Yes. The orange man. So, that's it. No, that's, no, yeah. I yeah, I definitely want to start with Syracuse. Okay. Yes. Yeah, yes. let's do it. Talk about Zion being a beast. My man went 13 for 13. Come on. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Come on. Whoa. 13, Whoa. Whoa. Wait a minute. Stop the press. Wait a minute. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Black Girl Master. Queen is here. <laughs> Building. What's up, y'all? What's going on? Gucci. Gucci. The Queen is here. Let me interrupt. Yeah, but nah, listen. You, this is free flowing <laughs> yeah. conversation. So, <laughs> for those of you listening and for those of you on YouTube watching, mm -hmm. now entering, we have. The queen of the KOT yo, show. Yo, can we shout hey, out Chris? Ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> shout out Chris. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, man. Cam the man behind the camera. You look HD now. Ooh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my man from years back, so, you know. Yeah, but back to the Syracuse game, yes. though. Oh, yeah, but his stat line. 29 points, 14 rebounds, 5 steals. Yes. 13 the 13 for 13, for 13 as well was impressive. Yeah. And this, yes. is his first, this is his first game back after sitting exactly. out after the sneaker explosion. Yeah. You know, crazy. Yo, the crazy. funny thing about that sequel is that they got Kyrie's mm -hmm. for him. And it's a guard shoe. So everybody's like, why do you have a guard shoe? But anybody ever played ball in Kyrie's, the grip is impeccable. Yo, no. Oh, yeah. But, but, but that's because Matter of Kyrie, fact, I'm wearing Kyrie's right see, now. I don't know if you see Kyrie's uh, pregame situation where it doesn't matter what court he's on, he always checks to make sure that his sneaker yeah. sticks on whatever court he's playing on. But on top of that, they reinforced his sneaker with some yeah, like, yeah, they, they don't want that, that again. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you gotta think shoe. about it. how much does Zion weigh? What is what is it? Two eighty five. How much? Two eighty five. Two eighty five. Apparently he lost weight, but I'm not. How tall is he? Two eighty five. How tall is he? Like six, six seven. About six, six, six seven. seven. So yeah. he's like when Shaq was like 300, but he was seven foot. But he is like a smaller Shaq deal, <laughs> right? You can't have no regular sneakers for nah, this guy. Man. Yeah. Because he he has the speed of a guard. He's like a linebacker. Yeah, you're just playing yeah. basketball. You got to be a Barker and Samantha. When you look at the way this guy like <laughs> explodes and accelerates, I'm like, yeah, I'm getting out the way too because yeah. he's going to hurt somebody on the way down. So, yeah, they got to give him reinforced sneakers, man. Yeah. I don't care what sneaker it is. Yo. And that game, too, anybody who questions he's okay during that game, he was definitely okay in first place. <laughs> Damn, first day of the game. Jumping out the gym. Jumped out Yo. the gym. Yup. Yo, let me just say, explain something about Zion to you, to you guys, man. If you guys are still saying we want Zion, don't take Zion because he's just athleticism, y'all are so wrong. Bugging. Nah. This guy y'all are so Bugging. wrong. Play. Listen, nah. The intensity in which he plays with mm -hmm. is unmatched, first of all. Second of all, the defensive anticipation is off the charts. The five mm -hmm. steals, like he mentioned earlier, is off of the, like. Yeah. Think Duke doesn't shoot well. Right. They no. really right. don't. But they just he cleans up a lot. He cleans yeah. up a lot of their errors. That's exactly. He cleans up a lot of their errors. One, I was looking at clips of him That's in cool. high school, in high school, and his anticipation on blocks. Mm -hmm. That is. I'm serious. like, I'm talking about he's serious. on top of the shot before it's. Yes. On his way up, I'm like, and the the, the IQ, his anticipation on the steals. Yeah. I was getting ready to say, yeah. in them passing lanes, he's yeah. serious. Yeah. yeah. Serious. Yeah, man. He waits for the perfect time. He waits for that perfect time when that guard is scrambling and his head is turning. He's trying mm -hmm. to sneak mm -hmm. behind him. I don't know how he's 285 pounds. I'm telling you, Bobby. linebacker, bro. That's how. <laughs> yeah. That's how. That's yeah. linebacker. You think about you got linebackers, 280, almost 300 pounds. With that kind of speed, that's linebacker. Yeah. yeah man. And, the, and the closeout speed, man. Yeah. The mm -hmm. closeout speed on those blocks and those threes. I'm imagining him and Mitch together. 
That's, that's serious right there. That's going to be a yeah. problem. Yeah. No one shooting jump shots. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's going to be up. a problem. Boy. That's going to be a problem. I can see situational defense, defensive defense is happening with end of game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mitch at the power. Mitch with, with DeAndre and... Oh, my gosh. You're not getting any points. If DeAndre, you know DeAndre's here. Well, Mitch... Well, right. <laughs> if, he is, if he is. If he is. Well, Mitch... Mitch and Zion together with the closeout speed, the low twos, scaring everybody off the lines and the blocks. Oh, my God. Yeah, and the blocks. Be, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Insane. But, yo. That's and, not even the end of it, though. <laughs> the game after that, he, the boy went off. Man came up with 31 points, 11 rebounds, with also another efficient game. Mm-hmm. 19 for 19. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Which game was this? This UNC. was against UNC. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah the, North Carolina. Yeah. That, was a, that was an intense game. Nah. I thought it was over, but... Yo, yeah. North Carolina game was intense. After I watched that game, I kind of said to myself, and hey, y'all might not believe me, it's all right. <laughs> but, um, you don't believe I, I, said, I said to myself, Zion is going to be the greatest player of his time. Not of all time. Oh. Not of all time. Mm. Of his time. Of this draft? I mean, I mean, of this draft? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's a possibility because 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 you know, right now LeBron's on his last leg, so you already know. Le- oh, you, yeah. so and, and Zion has yeah. the skill set to do. He has the skill set to do it. Boy, yeah. Yeah. Mario blocks your last shot in the game. You on your last leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Leg. Right. So, so I mean, so I mean, you, so, you, so you already, you, you already know this season alone, LeBron's gonna lose that best player in the league title because oh, he's, he's, he's not even going to the playoffs. So yeah. somebody else is gonna take that title. But it's not, even, but it's, it's yeah. not yo, listen, I okay, mean, so, okay. <laughs> so his, it's not even um his, you know, because he's slowed down. Mm-hmm. He's been in the league with 15, 16 years. Okay. 17. 17 what? years. And then here's the bad. thing, he's, but little, he's in the All Star game. Yeah, but here's the thing yeah. though. You're you're half assing and we see it. Yeah, I was yeah. about to say. That's to what say it is. That's what the. That's why you're not the greatest player anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're half assing and we see it. But he has to though, because if he gives all his energy now, his career is gonna end up ending. Then he needs than to decide what he wants to do. Yeah. Take a maintenance day. He but that's what he's, doing. he's taking a maintenance year. He's setting. My, my theory, listen. I'm telling you, my theory. Damn, he's the setting up. <laughs> right, listen, I, I got I got plenty of them. I got plenty of them. But. You know, he's setting up for his post basketball career. That's what he's doing. Yeah. So that that's I'm like, okay, yeah. LeBron is setting up for. Durant might be too, but you know. <laughs> that's okay. But Durant is still on top of his game. Like right now, he, he no, Durant if, still mm-hmm. needs basketball. That's what it is. Like that, that's, that's the that's difference. So that's the difference. That's also true. That's that post, true. That post that's the career difference. move that he's trying to make like LeBron is not the same. That's the difference. Yeah. Yeah. That is same. the difference. That's the difference. But we gonna let him. We gonna let him. We gonna let him all. come here yeah. and, and do what he needs to do. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we gonna let KD come in and do what he needs. Yeah, you know. But wait, does but, this season still take away from LeBron now? Like I'm not even a LeBron fan. This is not even a cosign. But like he still can't get the greatest player of his era nah. from this Lakers season. Oh, it's it's questionable. Era? Of, his era. Oh, of the era, okay. Of his era, because yeah, well, yeah, 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 yeah. Of his era, yeah, of his era, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 But the Michael yes. combo, I think, no, is I, think I think, I think, <laughs> I, I hate that combo. That's done. I think, I think, I think that combo is pointless. Like LeBron it's, is supposed it's been to pointless. be. LeBron is supposed to be better. Whether you want to give it to him or not, like yeah. mm-hmm. for what he's done for this time, yeah, he's supposed to be better than. Michael. He's supposed to do a lot of things better than Michael. He had more time to do he a had lot of things. He, he had, much. He had <laughs> the framework. He had, yeah, but he had the framework. It's like Michael's better than, yeah. than, than Julius because he had yeah. the framework to look yeah. at. You know. Mm-hmm. So you know, I, I I give him that or whatever like that. But at the same time, too, I'm I'm like I'm and again, this is no co- cosign, but like mm-hmm. I'm gonna still say LeBron is like. Of his era, yes. Of his, of his era, uh, you, of gotta, his era, you, you yes. have to yeah. give him that. Like, you have to give him that. I know Jonathan yeah. don't, ain't trying to, but you got to give him that. I mean, that's the same as Mario. Mario was the best. Mario. 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 I mean, at, at, at the end. was probably hoping for a foul for that, though. Hoping for he's always what? hoping for yeah. foul. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's yeah. He was going up. With him. Like, that yeah. was the laziest layup I've ever seen. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> he, he was swearing he was going to get fouled. Yeah. The whistle was going to blow. Nope, no thanks. I mean, at the end of the day, LeBron is still on the Mount Rushmore of NBA players. Whether you hate him or not, he's he's there. Well, well, it's LeBron, LeBron, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> too much love is a Knicks talk. Man, listen. Yeah. I, 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 that's desire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just being truthful, y'all. I'm just being truthful. He got too much time on a Knicks, on a Knicks show, damn. <laughs> oh, no, no, we, no, we flaming him. We flaming him. He all oh, yeah, once, the, yeah, once, yeah, once we get to the game, don't, don't worry. We, you know, just, yeah. Yeah. We, got, we got you, Jay. I rock few wins. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yo, back to Zion. The thing I liked yeah. about the game 
with Zion versus uh, North Carolina mm. was the, the clutch factor, man. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. The clutch factor. Like, mm-hmm. you can post this guy up on the right block. I know he's only going to go left. Mm-hmm. He's always going to spin back left. Well, but because that second <laughs> jump, right? When yes. you, you, oh, can, you can get that rebound with three people on you, put it back and get that bucket. That mm-hmm. was insane. That was insane. And as yeah. bad as he is as hitting free throws, when you can hit the free throw in the clutch with the mm-hmm. game on the line, of course. that's telling you something. Yeah, I remember course. Shaq was so horrible at free throws. Mm-hmm. But when the it game mattered. was on the line, yeah. yeah, he hit him. He was hitting him. The other thing, too, mm-hmm. is, you know, UNC was, was crowding the lane a lot. Oh, yeah. yeah. He stepped back and took a couple threes. I'm like, okay, Mm-hmm. Listen, you got to be able to adjust, and he's able to do that. So, so I'm mm-hmm. like, when you get to the next level, there's a lot from the work with. The only thing is they gotta they gotta stay on top of his nutrition and his diet. Cause oh, like, that's mm-hmm. a pride. Because yeah. he, he's that size now. Yeah. yeah. You get bigger when you're in the league. Yeah. Okay, man. Yeah. You know, they got to stay on top of that. Track the trailer when you. I'm about to say, oh, 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 <laughs> Oliver Miller. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I could never understand his shape. I'm like, yo, Michael Sweetman. Ah, oh, <laughs> oh, don't don't bring back Yo, bad memories, man. Don't listen, bring back bad memories, you're man. Playing, you're playing in the league. How is how, how, this your shape? Like I just don't understand. Yeah, like, but they, like, I think that's the thing they gotta watch. For, like with him, the, that's the yeah. thing they gotta watch. You like the for. Sweets. <laughs> and 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 the thing about Zion Williams is that you gotta think of the backstory too of this Duke UNC game because um in the season Duke lost both times to North Carolina and both games Zion didn't play. Mm. So when I was yeah. go- so going into this game, what I wanted to see was his competitive spirit because I was like, this dude sat out the both games versus UNC, oh, and yeah. you, you could tell he was clearly mad. Yep, both times when Duke lost those games, it's revenge. Dude came out Gunning. with a, with a vengeance, Gunning. like they were like like <laughs> like 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 there were times throughout the game where it was like the game was still in the balance and this dude was walking to the bench mad mm, all summer you, 19 ex- that's what I want. <laughs> exactly <laughs> I was ex- like mad though. exactly like Besides Dennis Smith yo <laughs> right, right. <laughs> exactly my whole point is that you could tell that he wanted that game badly yeah yeah, yeah. and I, and yeah. i think with him having that type of attitude that type of mindset he belongs in new york mm. cuz the fans will take to him with him having that attitude oh, that's a fact and yo, hope you're listening. And you know what, too? They won. Duke won. Uh, who did they beat the other game? Florida. Yeah. Florida State, Florida State mm-hmm. went in the final. Yep, yep. ACC mm-hmm. championship. Yep. Clap it up to those guys. But it's like you saw the game. You saw the game, right? I saw the game. They crowded the paint so much that game mm-hmm. that everybody like. And Duke is not a jump shooting team. But that's why yeah. they're doing that. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. You know, the more jump shots that actually Zion can hit, is gonna help because we know that he's the focal point. Right. Everyone mm-hmm. knows he's the focal point, and they know where his his strength is in the, is in, is in, in the paint. But that that gets me thinking. Like when he comes to the Knicks, right? Mm-hmm. We have a guy in Dennis Smith Jr. who for all, for all reason we, he might be here next season. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, who can't sh- hit a jump shot. <laughs> mm-hmm. And we also have Mitch Robinson, who's g- catching lobs. Mm-hmm. Somebody's going to have to hit a jump shot mm-hmm. at some time next season if you want to be competitive. Even if even if you do have all these nice pieces, of course, you got to mm-hmm. have, you know... It's, that's the type of league we're in now. Yeah, yeah that's the type of league we're in now. There's a jump shooting league. Mm-hmm. It's a three-point shooting league. Yeah. So we definitely need some people to hit some shots. But I also think defense matters. If oh, we, yeah. if of course. If we're lacking mm-hmm. shooting, we can make up with it with some defense, you know, Mitch. And I think that's the identity we have to maintain because most teams don't have... Well, the top-tier teams have that. I don't care. Anybody say that's the reason why certain teams are winning consistently because mm-hmm. they mm-hmm. play defense. Oh, hell yeah. And, and, you that, know. and he brings that in spades, yo. He yeah. Bring that. Yo, it's funny because I almost kind of think of Zion like a Giannis... Like mm, a short Giannis, he is mm-hmm. kind of mm-hmm. 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 like he can kind of bully people. Yeah, oh that well that goes without saying. Yeah, he do <laughs> all his damage in the paint. And what did the Bucks do? They 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 kind of just put shooters around them. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> right. So okay, right. So if that's if that's the 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 the, the strategy you're gonna go with, that'll work. Well, we need some people to hit some shots. We need people to hit some shots. I mean, <laughs> yeah. really, right now, that strategy ain't gonna work if we don't have shooters. Yeah, <laughs> like Dot is Dot is turning on Trier. He's starting to hit some shots. Yeah, mm-hmm. Dot's it, Trier. Dot's um, shoot, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then your man who just got brought up. It could be he. He has potential. He has a potential. Um, who else is a shooter on the Knicks right now? Oh, that's about it. So that's the thing now. So that's, <laughs> that, but then that's why that strategy, yeah. that strategy might not work. You know, yeah. it might not work. 
<laughs> I mean, I, 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 I mean, I mean, not not consistent what enough. About, right. What about yeah. Lonzo? Yeah, we, what yeah, about we, yeah. Trier. We not, got, a, not a three, but a strong. No, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Lonzo's no, no, been shooting. Trier. Like, so you can shoot. Yeah, yeah no, Trier. Yeah. We got Trier, but we shooting like 40 percent around. So that's still. Mm-hmm. It's it's and it's we need consistent shooters. We need like yeah. automatic. Yeah. We need to do at least one automatic. Yeah. Trigger like don't leave him open. Mm-hmm. I think next season, Dotson is going to be there for us. I think so. And Trier, Trier can be if he shoots I think Trier can be. If he, sh- if he, because he hits in a high clip, but he doesn't take him enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I, I think he can be one of those guys, too, because he's been pretty efficient. If he got set up for more open shots, that could definitely be Trier's position. Definitely. That's the other, mm-hmm. yeah. that's the other thing, too. So yeah, we, yeah, need, yeah. we need, we need, so what we need is we need somebody who's going to draw attention. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> we need somebody who's going to draw attention. Mm-hmm. And, you got your wide open shooters to kick out to, mm-hmm. you know. So you know, we'll see. I think Trey yeah. could definitely shoot at a high clip. Yeah, and I, and if I he would. gets open shots. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I also wouldn't be surprised if the Knicks do a, do go after a shooter in the second round. You know, yeah, very. Now, R.J. Barrett. What do you guys? What do you? I really like R.J. Barrett, man. I I was down on him a little bit, mm-hmm. but um, Gilbert Arena said something that made a lot of sense to me. They, he said that um. He said that Zion Williamson gets all his points off of fast breaks and offensive rebounds mm-hmm. and steals and things like that. Of that mm-hmm. nature, right? Mm-hmm. R.J. Barrett is the guy that when their coach wants to draw something up and get a bucket, that's who they yeah, go to go all the time. Yeah. Yeah. And he mm-hmm. averages 20 points off of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, for us... That's something that we need. No, of course. Some, like, desperately def- at this Somebody point. who can create their own shot. I, mm-hmm. I would say, I, I would still say it's kind of Zion or bust, but I... I wouldn't be mad with RJ. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad with RJ at all. Mm-hmm. He, he seems like he has a little... With his body type, he's 6'7", around 200 pounds. That's kind mm-hmm. of the same thing as Kawhi Leonard. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. There's a lot of potential there. But I see his game kind of modeling like a Paul George in a sense. Mm. Mm-hmm. We could mean, use that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Absolutely yeah. use yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Use the, that. the only thing is that if he's going to reach Paul George level, he definitely got to improve the defense because his defense yes. ain't there right now. That's, not, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. He has the body type and everything for Yeah, the body and type, we were, yeah. And Jay was talking about that earlier about getting somebody athletic who you can teach yeah. defense mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. But then he got to be dedicated to it because, you know, yeah, defense is true. a mindset and not everyone is... Like, Paul George wants to play defense. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Harden does not. You know what I mean? Yeah. This is a yeah, mindset, yeah, yeah. you know? And Even, the thing about art, like, I, I saw some stats today mm-hmm. from Jonathan Wasserman. Like, I, I've been iffy on RJ because, one, the off-ball defense is just kind of that bad. Mm-hmm. And, like, even the closeout, sometimes he doesn't close out when he should. Even mm-hmm. though I did see some more effort when the game was on the line. Uh-huh. Yeah, because you wanted to win that <laughs> yeah. shit. That's yeah. why. <laughs> like, the, that's more that. often than not. Right. The, that's that mellow defense. Yeah, when, 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 when the game... <laughs> <laughs> gotta be at least one mellow shot. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Mellow <laughs> Team, yo. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, you still taking more shots than Mellow right now? It's crazy. Oh, oh damn. Damn. <laughs> damn. 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 So that makes up for two episodes. Yeah. Okay, cool. I love Mellow. I, I ain't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> yo, somebody just signed Mellow already. Yo, what's good, man? Thanks. Not yeah, what's year. happening, man? It's Next so disrespectful, year. man. It's so Next disrespectful. Year. Come on, man. Anyway. Somebody on it. Somebody. <sighs> but like I was saying, RJ... The defense I, I, I'm, is, is I'm, your apprehension. I, the defense is my apprehension, and he's not really consistent in the like half court situations. Mm-hmm. Like the three point shot is doesn't seem to go through in enough consistency. Like he mm-hmm. shot like two for seven. Mm-hmm. In a, in but that. I guess when I look at some of these college players, like, do you think he has the potential to be better? Of course, you don't want to bank know, on that. Yo. You don't want to bank mm-hmm. on that. But based off of what you've seen, do you think he has the potential? I don't. I don't. I, I'm I'm scared. Like I, okay. I like like we said. Remember we were talking about last week, Ryan, when um when the Zion went down mm-hmm. and it was just RJ there by himself. They the Duke didn't really look the same. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Duke looked completely different, and that told you right there that Zion is the one that that you know is the engine. You know, he's yeah, the one that gets I Duke mean, going. Yeah, that's the thing. You know, 
don't want to say it's an unfair comparison, but that's like look at the Cleveland Cavaliers after LeBron left. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We all we all know who the engine was there. We know who the engine is in Duke, and RJ still a ball, but the focus, like defenses, focus on Zion. That's the strategy. Mm-hmm. How can we prevent him from getting his buckets, or let him get all his buckets and we stop everybody else? Yeah. I, I just want him to stop forcing shots too much. Yeah, mm-hmm. I want him to be a little more accurate, even though he shoots forty six percent. When it's half, when it's straight up half court defense. Mm-hmm. It starts mm-hmm. to look a little shaky. Mm, okay. I feel like he, because Duke forces a lot of turnovers, he's mm-hmm. able to kind of push his, his right. percentage up because he's, he's fast those break fast points. Breaks, yeah. those fast break points, and he's able to kind of finish around back. But when he and he's able to get to, the, well, you know, in the half court, say he's able to get to his spots. Right. Mm-hmm. In the half court, but he doesn't really finish at a good enough clip. So, it's, it's, so that's it gets, why it's that's mm-hmm. why it becomes a gamble. Like you have to decide. For example, Mitch Mitch Robinson, right? Mm-hmm. Money, money, make it Mitch. Well, the people are calling him Mercedes Mitch out in these streets right now. <laughs> <laughs> he was second round, like, what, 36? Yeah, something like picked? that, yeah. 36 in the second round. And look how many teams wish they hadn't passed on him. Yeah. Because, you know, they saw something in like, okay, we can develop this. Do you think that's a situation with RJ? Is there enough I'm that not, we could develop? Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what I'm saying. I'm not saying he's going to be a bust. Yeah. I'm not, that's not what I'm saying. Right. But I'm not saying... You're not sold I'm, on it, I'm though. Not sold. <laughs> I'm not completely sold. I understand I'll, why people are sold, though. Yeah. I, like, I understand why Khan is sold. It's like, mm-hmm. yes. I'm not sold. Okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hold on but a second. I like him. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like... Oh, you No, nah, all I was going to say is that I do give RJ Barrett this, like, he would Zion, would Zion out, he did try to step up his game and he did try to carry Duke as much as he can. Mm-hmm. So I'm not really hard on RJ Barrett as much as I'm hard on Reddish mm. because Reddish is another guy that they oh, say is going to be top five. No, Reddish but, is not but, top yeah, five. Yeah, yeah, but but <laughs> no, but no, but, but he's not, he, not top five. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the thing, with, but, but the thing with Reddish five. is that like with Zion out, like he disappears in games and it's like, yo, dog, Zion is out. Like you now should not be time to exactly. Yeah, you should yeah. not be disappearing in games. So that's the thing about Reddish. Like, I'm kind of hard on Reddish just for that. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if he's still a top five pick. Nah, but but those it. performances without Zion got me kind of like, I, I don't know if I was in, I don't know if I if I have a pick in that four or five range if I would really be going after mm. Reddish. So, I, no. <laughs> no. Like, people are kind of like, people are saying he's a pretty, he's a good ball handler in high school and he didn't, and he took the ball out of his hand. Mm. I think so. I think so. I, I, hmm. I'm not, yeah, but as of now though, like you said, when he was stepping, when Zion was out, he should have stepped up, but he mm-hmm. didn't. He seemed like he just flatlined, man. You know what happens sometimes when you have players in that situation, and the normal situation is you're not the focal point. When you become the focal point, that light light is bright, mm-hmm. you know. And sometimes he he might be be used to the role that he was playing, you know. Zion's not here. That doesn't you know for him. He's like, it's not changing my situation, even though it should. Because mm-hmm. now that's your time to shine and show that you deserve to be in the top five. But, yeah, but you know, not everybody has that engine, bro. And people like him because he's able. he had a few nice moments. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He has a skill set. that I mean, that just goes without saying. But you got to look at things like drive, engine. Is this guy, you know, going to step up when we need him? Yeah. like Those mm-hmm. are like the intangible things you got to look at. Yeah, like he, people like the defense. And they said he he, he had like a clutch shot. Mm-hmm. A few he clutch did. shots. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That made people like, okay, well, maybe. That's what I'm saying. So it's in there. It's in Something there. Something is there. Well, how, how, consistent, long, how consistent? How consistent? Be? Be? Like, can we, can we? How long is it gonna take to develop that guy? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Is he worth five? I don't know. I, don't <laughs> know. I, don't I think know. if you leave him open, he gonna knock down that shot. Yeah, he's a good three point shooter. Yeah, that's what any team needs in the NBA nowadays. Right. I don't see why not. I don't really see who's going over him. Who do y'all think is going over him? Jared Culver. Yeah, why like, oh. him? So go 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 ahead and expand a little bit. You you mentioned him mm-hmm. a little bit. Well, that's earlier. A, that's a Texas Tech dude. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of I'm kind of liking Culver, man. Okay. So as a Knicks as a Knicks GM, if you have the well, let's say the fourth pick, Zion's off the board, RJ's off the board, um, Culver, not even a question. Really? Oh. Over Morant? You know why? Why Morant? Like I we touched on this last week. Mm-hmm. Morant versus DSJ to me is not that. It's, it's like apples and apples. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like a they're lot both of they're right both now. athletic point guards, right? And I know that you know the vision is supposed to be good with 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 a Morant, but I don't think the vision is that much better than the Dennis the Dennis Smith the Dennis mm-hmm. Smith. I don't think it's that. I think it's 
here, here. Like you know marginal. <laughs> marginal. There you go. Marginal. That's, marginal. Good, that's why he's a writer. You know, yeah. Mar- marginal. You know, that's like marginally better than Dennis Smith Jr. So I'm just like, ah. I don't think I would waste a pick on that, especially considering mm. after after Zion, mm-hmm. everything everybody's the in the talent. cluster, yo. Oh yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, more. he's like, he's yeah. like such a standout. I was like, okay, now who do we pick? He's like, at that point, usually they'll say, you know what, go for the best player available. At, right. Mm-hmm. But when there's no clear cut best player available, then, then you got to look at go what you need. need. You got to look at what you need. <laughs> yeah. That's when you look at what you need. And First, you go for best player. Then it's like, okay, well, now what do I need? Do then, I need a shooter? Do I need defense? Do I need, you know? Yeah. And then I was watching that Texas Tech game. I know they lost. Mm-hmm. And he he kind of disappeared in that first half. But that second half, he took the game over, you know? Mm. And it was kind of, even his shot wasn't falling. He, he kind of has a nice shot. But when his shot wasn't falling, he was going to the hole at will, dog. Mm. At will. Two, three people on him, taking to the hole. One after the other after the other. And he just kind of put the team on his back. Mm. I think he ended up scoring like 20, like 26. Mm. 26 in a loss. He was going to the line when he wanted to. Right. The defense is, is a lot, to me, is a lot more solid than... Um, yeah, his defense is solid. Than, than Barrett. So mm-hmm. you don't even have to, you know, That's coach him like on that. Mm-hmm. Okay. The thing with Barrett is Barrett is just more athletic. Mm. So pe- And he's long, a little longer, so people mm-hmm. want to go with him. Pause. Right. Go with him because... Um, <laughs> <laughs> because that's athleticism, you know, the, the, the ceiling is a little yeah. higher. <laughs> yeah. The ceiling is a little higher with Barry. So that's the thing. That's what you gotta. It's like a gamble. You gotta decide long term who's got the better advantages, who's got the higher ceiling. Mm-hmm. You know, because um, we've seen so many times like somebody. Oh yeah, this person's gonna be A, B, and C in the league, and then the ceiling is low. Yeah, I just mm-hmm. I just want somebody motivated. So like, is, if, yeah. if he's not going to... I mean, that's, that's for the coaching staff to decide. If they, of if course, they, of course. If they feel like this guy will be motivated to go to that next level and we can teach him how to do this, then yes. But to me, Culver is a safer bet mm. to, like, contribute. He's not going to really... I don't think he's going to really hurt And a you. long-term contribution? And a long, long-term, R.J. Barrett could be better if he puts it all together. Though. Right, so mm-hmm. then... Because I'm thinking, like, I mean... I feel like we need to get some long-term situations because yeah. we have a lot of transitional pieces. Like, okay, it'll be good for like a year or two and then we'll get somebody else. But, like, long-term. Yeah, long-term is looking like Zion, RJ. That's what I'm, mm-hmm. you know? That's it. gives me, like, Alonzo, Alonzo Trier vibes. Mm. Mm. I can see He's just, that. like, a little less shot-creating ability. I was about to say, he's he's taller, and he has a lot more defense, but as far as, like, you know, I feel like they do the same thing. It's just, Trier's just a little faster, Mm. you know? Yeah, like, the way he creates shots, he doesn't do anything fancy. Right. Mm -hmm. He's kind of like, I know this is is not, when I I say this, people are like, oh, they're going to throw their hands up. (laughs) (laughs) He's simple, like, you know how moody it gets by his guys? Yeah. Uh He doesn't do a lot of dribbling, he just kind of does a little hezzy. Mm Mm-hmm. Gets his shoulder in front of you and he's gone. That's kind of what he does. Well, here's the thing: when you think about professional, like basketball players at that level, like that's what you want. You want to be as efficient as possible. You don't mm-hmm. want to waste time with moves. Mm-hmm. That's one of the things that KD is so good at. Mm-hmm. He's very efficient with his moves. He has a lot of fancy stuff, but he get by you. Yeah, he gets in a position to get to get his shot. So. I, Simple is good for me as long yeah, as you're efficient. Man. Yeah, I don't <laughs> care how simple it is. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I you mean. Know? Uh, what's his I'm, name? I'm Tim Duncan was simple. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm struggling. Like, I'm struggling. Man. It's tough. That's what I'm saying. I'm After struggling. Zion, it's tough. I might, I might. I have to sleep on. It's I might, tough, man. I might even pick him over over RJ, yo. I might. Ooh. I, I might. Ooh. Wow. I might. Yo. I gotta look at some highlights. I got it because I understand though. People, I mean, <laughs> I understand why not, but yeah. I gotta look. I gotta look. I mean, you know? I've, I've watched Culver. I mean, he's good. I don't know if I pick him over RJ though, yeah, but he, but I'm he's like, good though. That's a hard sell for me. I need <laughs> yeah. to see that. Yeah, like but. in the game before too, he's mm-hmm. trending up too. Like the game before, he dropped thirty one. Mm. <laughs> like he's trending up. So okay. yeah. yeah, he's just, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> like he's trending he's, up mm. is always good. Trending yeah. down is when it's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And the good thing is that you'll see him in the NCAA tournament too. So you, okay, you, so, so you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we yeah. so we'll be back I'm with being, some more info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Some more info. When yeah. are they playing next? When are they playing next? Well, usually the games start on Thursday, so I'm All assuming right. it's gonna be the same. I okay. mean, the playing the playing games are Tuesday and Wednesday, uh-huh. and usually Thursday is when the the big the you know the whole you know field of sixty four starts. Okay. Yeah, usually so. 
All right, cool. But, yeah. you know, if you can't watch that, watch that Texas Tech versus West Virginia game. And I'm going to look at that, and I want to see him mm-hmm. in the, in the 22. Especially that wanna... second half, and you, then you might see kind of what I'm talking about when he just kind of took the game over. Mm-hmm. Okay. The team on his back. I was like, okay. oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. If, that, if you can do that, then maybe you can do that with the second unit. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Nah, listen, nah, I'm... If I'm bugging, I'm bugging, man. No, nah, listen. <laughs> I, I, I definitely want to take a look at that and see. Because, um, but yeah. All right. Oh. So all, all this week, well, not all this week, but very often this week, this interview came up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I know everybody's busy. I know I haven't had a chance to look at a lot of things. Yeah. But I had a chance to look at the Dolan interview. And it was very enlightening. Um, you, every, Everybody got a chance to at least see some of it? Yeah. Okay. Only, you know, only, story, only got right? quotes. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, with the with the, <laughs> the those guys that were trolling them. Yes. The yeah. Mac. Yes. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and, and tell us the whole backs for those who are unaware of what happened. Jay, what's the backstory? If, you, if you're a Knicks fan and you're living under a rock, <laughs> 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 two fans were in the garden, approached Dolan, and. Yelled at him to sell, sell the, the team. team. It's kind of in that tone. <laughs> sell the team. That's it. <laughs> Yelled at him from the, the, the little the stands or whatever. Uh, Dolan looked at him and said, "Yeah, yeah, Come yeah." On, let me talk to you for a second. Let me talk to you. Yeah, yeah. Came here and went on and on. Let me talk to you for a second. And banned him. He said, "Oh yeah, you're banned. You're banned." And since that happened. He kind of went into MSG marketing damage control modes. <laughs> right. Uh, scheduled an interview with Michael K. Yeah. Like the next, was it the next day? I think the so. The next day. Mm-hmm. And they had a talk about it. Can we all agree that that's actually kind of bold to do though? Like I give him some credit for that. It was bold. It was, it was bold. Wait, it, which part? The interview or the band? It's the interview period. Him I think, but yeah, you know what it was? It was bold, but it was smart because he needed to do damage control. Yeah. Everybody's yeah. like, all they said was sell a team. What you ban them for? That's true. Exactly. That's true. You know? He just as easily hit though. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I mean, he that's his, that's his move, though. I'm a play. That's his marketing move. I'm going to play devil's advocate. Okay, you know? okay. I'm not a, again, I'm not a fan of Dolan. Okay. But it starts with band the team, and then it leads into something else. Like, mm. if you want to look at the whole thing that happened with Westbrook and them, I'm sure that fan, those fans trickle, like, said a few things before they said whatever they said to him. Absolutely, so, yes, yes. I don't, I low-key don't think, like, Dolan is wrong for, mm. like, a lifetime ban. I think, well, maybe, maybe, maybe not a lifetime ban. Okay, maybe okay. Maybe, like, a few games or, like, for okay. the rest of this season. I'll give you a few games. Like I'll give you a few games. A lifetime ban might be too strong. It might be overdoing it. But I just feel like but he... it starts with something as simple as sell the team. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But here's the thing with that. Yes, I... And, 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 and Dolan's defense as well. Yes. Those fans, I don't want to, I mean, because he OD'd when he said they were stalking him or whatever like that, but yeah, they, they mm-hmm. moved. But they, they well, a few sessions. Yes. yes. They weren't they stalking moved. him, but they, yeah. they, they baited him. Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. So they yeah. baited him. That's one. Yeah. But and just like as a human, like it's easy to be like, oh, he's a he's a person of high position, and he should just ignore it and this and mm-hmm. that and this and that. But if it was right. you, put yourself in Dolan's position. Somebody saying that to you, your team just came off of a loss, y'all been losing. Like you don't mm-hmm. know what kind of day he had. You kind of gonna get a few. Walks. You, get you get a band. <laughs> <laughs> you get, okay, you gonna get your bag. You gonna be so, like, you know what? Okay, so you know what? You gonna flex a little. So here's the thing. I, I, flex a little. I agree yeah. with a lot of what you said, especially because they were like, yo. He's over there, and they baited him. Okay, and they sold the video to TMZ. Which is another level. Nah, of but here's the thing. Level of but again, you gotta, you gotta understand where these guys are coming from. They had a plan. Yeah. Hey, we gonna execute this plan. We gonna get bait Dolan to say ABC, and we gonna sell it to TMZ. That's a come up. I hope TMZ paid for that video. I hope they right. gave him at least a, 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 a at, least, at least at least a G. at least because you can't see no. If more you games did no it, more. then there's no point <laughs> to what you yeah. did. Yeah. If you didn't, there's no point. But that's a come up Major. because they had a plan, they executed, and they were successful. One, mm-hmm. two. Um, people have said way worse things than sell the team. Exactly. And I think he's, he was sensitive. He was in his feelings in that exactly. moment. Now. They just right lost. Now. And like you said, we don't know what kind of day he had. Definitely cool. in his feelings. But he mm-hmm. was definitely in his feelings in that right. moment. Yeah. And like, oh, <laughs> lifetime bad. Oh, come on, bro. 
Really? Nah, I'm Soft flexing. like Charmin. Nah, nah, then, nah, you know, nah, nah. I'm so, flexing. I'm flexing like Dolan. But, you know, right. Uber, nah. Uber, Uber was trash, and I wanted to go off just the same way Dolan did. <laughs> 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 nah, man. I'm I'm kinda, flexing nah, like sometimes, Dolan. <laughs> sometimes you have to be realistic with yourself, though, because it's like, yo, the years you've been owner of the Knicks, the Knicks have been trash for the majority of those years. You should. I'm like, unless he lived, unless he lives in his own bubble, you gotta expect that kind of stuff. He should know that the majority of Knicks fans do not like him. He knows the majority of Knicks fans <laughs> want that. him to sell a team. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So he, look at what he did to Oakley, though. Why would you think that you wouldn't get a lot? I said that same thing. thing. That's true. That same you, you, thing. Was, yes. you, you asking. Right. You asking. And that's, asking. that's the other asking. side of that. That's the other Come side. On, of that. I still I'm, say you can't just go to somebody's house and talk to them any kind of way that you want yeah. and not expect. Whatever that happened, right, you know right, what I mean? right, like, you right. Can't, you can't gauge the reaction. Like anything could happen to you at that point. I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of agreeing with Kevin. <laughs> 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 I don't know. He needs to get. He needs to get some tougher skin, yo. Like yeah, that's true too. This, he's not. He's, he's just the owner. He's not. Is he from New York? He's not from New York. Uh, that's a good question, actually. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I really don't know. Yeah, I, well, I, think, I gotta do my googles. I but. think what's happening is we're all. It's like it's like this one coin, and we're each on. It's the same coin, but it's different sides of it. Because I agree. Yes, you can't just say whatever you want. Mm -hmm. I do think a lifetime ban is extreme. <laughs> I, mean, yeah. so I do agree with that, too. That's, it's like, I agree with that, too. That's you know, the, game, pun, the, pun, the punishment has to fit the crime. Even for like, a, even for like a till year, next season. Two years. Even for the rest of the season. Yeah. Ban for the rest yeah. of the season. I can see that. But lifetime, like, come on. My, exactly. man, my man set the tone. Like, don't ever come at me crazy like Fact. that again. They, you, 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 you. Watch who you He set the tone with Sprewell, with Oakley. He's been <laughs> setting the tone already. Right, so, talk to me nice. You know. my, name is, my name is James Dolan. <laughs> Watch how you talk to me. <laughs> but, 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 nah, but, but the thing is, like, the fan wasn't even disrespectful. We just told him to yes, sell the team. He wasn't. No. 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 He wasn't. He wasn't talking about his moms or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? He just said he did. That's my Exactly. Just let me, let me exactly. Tell you in, in fewer words, you deal? basically talked about his mom. You did. You basically okay. did. So let's <laughs> let's 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 take up. How many of us, even if you don't think so now, have thought at one point, damn, he need to sell a team. Yes. I, 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 I was wrong. I can admit that I was wrong. Yeah. Okay. Was wrong. okay. Okay. I didn't say it to James Dolan though. And that's the That's a fact. That's true. Maybe more people should tell him to sell the damn team. They got the whole MSG telling them now. You're trying to get them fired. Yeah. Trying to make them lose their job. Word. Now, it's a question. Because after he said, do you believe this story? After that whole scenario happened, right? He said, you know what? I thought about it, me and my colleagues, and... I was going to go to the fan and, and say, you know what? what? Come visit the Knicks. I believe Show that. the facility. I believe it. I believe it. And I, believe it. I, believe it. I, believe I was it. talking about with like making up for the mistake and everything. I think. He and then he. That. So the story is for the fans that don't know, is that he said he was gonna go to those guys who said sell the team, show them the facility, show them how the team works as like a makeup. But then he found out that, that they, they were, were planning stalk, it, planning him, planning it, and stalking him. Do you believe that he was actually going to? do I, that? I actually I do. do. To be honest. I do. I, I, I don't really <laughs> <laughs> no nah, because you got to think about it like this right I don't believe he's it. he's in a position where he one he could do something like that mm -hmm. two he knew that he I'm sure he got tweets phone calls whatever but yo mm -hmm. that's extreme you got to fix that mm -hmm. and if it was a situation where it was just a random emotional fan mm -hmm. that was commenting sell a team and he gave a Irrational right. response. Mm -hmm. He wants to fix that. It's like okay, that's cool. That's a good fix you know, too. That's, that's what I'm a saying. good social media fix. Like, exactly. You mm -hmm. gave the, the and you banned them, and then you gave them tickets to the game, and they got to meet the players. And, and they got right. to go on and court. he that's already a has one. a bad rap, and it might not even be rightfully so because we don't know him, right? But he has a bad rap with Knicks fans. Like, oh, he's not really connected to the team. He doesn't care. He cares more about the range, the whole range of comments and things. So this is his opportunity to be like, okay, cool. I made a mistake. A, B, and C. But then when he found out that they was planning it, I don't nah, believe it. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I he can. Like, you you don't think he would do that? No, I don't think he would do that. What? I, believe it. I, don't think he would do that. I mean, I put myself I, in this position. So. I, I don't. I, I don't know. Like, when was the last time you heard James Fon James Jones actually did something for the fans though? Like, and that's see, why I'm that's saying yeah, like, this yeah. would have been his moment to yeah. do that. Yeah. I don't yeah. think he would have. Although, like during that interview. I will say this: He came off to me like more of like an emotional fan mm -hmm. than uh, like he a, admitted that's a rich, what he was. Than a rich supervillain. That's what that's he, right. <laughs> he admitted that too. He admitted that. And I think that's why I believe he would have done that. Mm -hmm. 
because of that. Oh. Hey, perfect time. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay. that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to stay. That's not getting it. <laughs> but yeah, you know, that, that's that's the reason why I think he would have done it, you know, because he, he just seemed more, uh, you know, he was before he's relatable. He's, yeah, he just was the monster on the hill before. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that was the first inter- even the other interview, did, you know, this was the first interview. I'm like, OK, cool. This guy sounds like a grounded person. And then his, yeah. even his reasoning was like, yeah, so they were planning it. So I said, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I'm yeah. like, yo. Yeah. You gotta know. Know that it, it is what it is. I mean, I guess I do like the fact that he's like he said he 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 sits in the front because he feels like he's a fan. And I, I got the the fact that he started naming players. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's like, oh, he he's watching for real. He named, he named every <laughs> single one too. Yeah, he's like, oh yeah, and Mitch is doing well now, and, yeah. and Kev is coming along. Yeah, and yeah. Look better than I, I was like, oh. Yeah, and he had a, <laughs> yeah, and he had to look at a sheet of paper to make sure that he got uh, all the names yeah, right. right. <laughs> Mitch was um, but so you are you saying right? He didn't know their names, but he had to read the paper to know their. I think it was uh, exactly, (laughs) exactly. He said he don't know them players, man. The man owes the team, and he don't even know the players he got on his roster. (laughs) <laughs> Let's make that a legend. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. That's crazy. Oh, um, man. Yo, yo, there's one thing I want to hold on. Any other quotes you want to talk about there, about that? About no, no. I, I mean, I, I'm... I, oh, well, okay, okay. He was doing a lot of snitching doing that. Doing I, I know, oh, exactly. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. If I'm certain players in the league, I don't know if I'm talking to them no more. Chill, chill. Oh, chill. Even, even he was even dropping hints like, you know, New York is still a top market. There's mm-hmm. players that call us yes. all the time. Yeah. You know, we can't say anything about because. He didn't lie, though. He didn't. He didn't. When he, he said but he Kevin, put out too much info. Uh, yeah, I, I think he was. I don't think. I don't he's think making he's too put, high, though. Yeah, exactly. He's putting them in a tough position. It's, it's been high. Yeah. It's it, been high. Yeah. It, wasn't the, it, wasn't it wasn't like, like he's definitely coming no, to no, New no. York. No, no, no. But, but Dolan is now like, it's like, okay, he's, he's kind of confirming Rumors without confirming them. Yeah. Okay. So until something happens, I don't care about no rumors. Until something that's happens, because everybody, yeah, no, everybody, everybody said their mom right. thought that Anthony right. Davis was going to the Lakers. Everybody right. swore mm-hmm. up and down, right. and I, we knew, we said, well, I said it. I don't know about y'all, but I said he wasn't moving nowhere. He wasn't going nowhere. I kind of and everybody and everybody knew. Like, everybody thought, thought the last day up until the final hour something right. was going to happen. Just mm-hmm. just to be clear, so everybody knows what we're talking about. Because we kind of just, just skipped over the content. <laughs> <laughs> it's free-flowing conversation. Set it up, Jay. 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 Oh, let me see if I remember this. Right. I'm trying to set it up. I, I forgot. Anyway, <laughs> so basically what he was, what Dolan was saying was, players don't care. Right. Mm-hmm. And they would, they would come and tell us they want to come, or their agents would come and tell us yeah. they want to come. Mm-hmm. So I know they're free agents. I, he said he felt very confident that we're going to get top free agents yeah. because... Mm-hmm. People have told him yes. that they are coming. Yeah, right. we're gonna get we're gonna get somebody. No, we can't. We're getting somebody. Can I can I mention one thing? Did y'all notice how just like maybe the day after that um, Michael K interview and Dolan was snitching that um that report came out that what what was it? Oh yeah, that the Katie, that Katie, meeting? yeah, the oh, secret meeting, yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. The day meeting. after. Like, come on, man. Like, <laughs> Something's going on. We getting somebody. Yeah, we somebody. Yeah. Yeah. somebody. Is, is, is that true, though? It's like, Somebody's the guy who reported it, though, is kind, he kind of scooped. His name is Scoop. He scooped some <laughs> things before. But is, the these, is this the right scoop, though? Like, I, I, I don't like, know. I, I mean, I, I'm, not, I'm not too certain. Like, the guy that reported it, like, I don't really know him as a guy that, you know, is one of the top guys when it comes to, like, Reporter rumors or whatnot, mm-hmm. so I'm I'm iffy on the rumor, but I wouldn't be surprised if it happened though. You know what I'm yeah. saying for real. I think to be realistic, we have to, we have to, we know that two top players are coming. Mm-hmm. Who exactly it is? Don't put your hopes in anyone. Don't put your hopes in KD. Don't put your hopes in Kyrie. Don't put yeah. Your hopes in well, Kemba. I like, think that's yeah. There's a mm-hmm. the, 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 there's a lot of people in free agency. Mm-hmm. I'm and not, there's a lot I'm of not, I'm not, top talent. There's a lot of yeah. Who is top? There's only I'm thinking it's several top talent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm thinking KD, Kyrie, and that's it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, it, it's no, KD, no Kyrie, Kawhi. Oh, yeah, Kawhi. That's too. it. Kawhi too. <laughs> Kemba? I'm about to say Kemba. Nah, man. Kemba, Kemba, Kemba. No, 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 no. That's my guy. I love Kemba. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kemba, yeah, Kemba's my dude too. I don't think Kemba's a fit for us. No, no. He's available though. I feel like KD and Kemba, I'd be all right, dog. Be yeah, but but, but, all, but all I'm saying is that there's there's levels to this. You got superstar level. I understand. Uh-huh. KD, yeah, I Kyrie, understand. Kawhi. Then you got that 
that tier that right under Super Solo. That's, that's Kemba. Saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You know what it is too? I wonder if. Because you know how Kyrie was always, you know, pretty good. And then his the Cavs were He's sucking for so long. And so LeBron came back. And <clears throat> his kind of star rose once LeBron came back. Mm-hmm. I And then, so now he's here now. He was never there until LeBron came back and then he left. Mm-hmm. I wonder if that happened for Kemba, would Kemba's star arise to that level? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know, you get no, what I'm saying? Yeah, because yeah, yeah. you have to think about it too because in Charlotte, like, he never had that major player he's never had you it. Know, next to him. You know what I'm saying? So maybe. it's always been him. Yeah. So, so like, who's that mm-hmm. player that can raise, like, if a KD and Kemba, I wonder if KD maybe, can raise maybe, Kemba's star like maybe. LeBron Rose's Kyrie star. This Kemba takes a lot of shots, though. He does. So, he's going to have to change his game if, be... If if the scenario happens where it's KD and Kemba, he gonna have to change his game. I think it's because <laughs> they want him to. Oh, though. That's the other thing. I think that's. I, I feel like Charlotte makes him. He has to. Take he, has to. Like, yeah, he has like, to. Yeah, he has to. He's the guy. Like he has to take them. Yeah. yeah. If he's not taking them, they're not scoring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If he's here with New York, though, he don't have to do that, and he can kind of chill and take the open ones and take over in spots when KD's on the bench. Yeah. Mm, could be a little different. That'd be a hopeful yeah. scenario. I'm just saying. Then you know, but I do. I do think. I do like Kawhi. Just need. I think we just we're gonna have to be. We have to see what happens. (laughs) I think Kathy's saying. Just don't be. Don't be. That's it. Don't be tied to any one person. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. I. Don't be tired. Yeah, man. You I, I, are I the trust. same woman who said, nah, good vibes, y'all. Katie. <laughs> 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 I mean, somebody's coming. I, I have no ties. I'm going to trust I'm gonna trust management and the way they're moving and y'all, the pieces that they're picking up. Y'all swing me. You see? Not, 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 you see? <laughs> nah, nah, you see? Me, yeah. swing you, you, like, you see? <laughs> you see, Kathy might be singing a different tune right now. I'm still speaking into existence. Katie and Kyrie coming. <laughs> all right? I'm still speaking into existence. Because, right. you know, my, look, I'm not trying to get my hopes up, man. I just want somebody. What happened last month? Listen, she you wants that change. scenario. I, She's I, not I, saying I, she I, don't I'm want that really scenario. I'm not really a fan of, of, I was okay if, if KD came, but I'm not, like, advocating for him. That was true. In the beginning, yo, she sa- was like. Nah, same man as DJ. I was yeah. never like, yo, I, if he comes, I'm here for she it. She was saying, but I'm not. You know, be positive, keep hope alive, and all. But yeah. with KD, she was always like, "You sure you want KD? Uh, you, you don't remember you that? You too bland. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. Am I bugging? I'm been the same. No, no, If you no, watch no, no, every no. episode, Alex Collins. I know you. Out, shout out Alex Collins. I, I shout out to Craig Williams. Never, I know you've seen every episode. I have yeah. never. I was never. Do research for me, please. On the on the bandwagon. I was never on that KD bandwagon. All right, all right, wait, not never. Okay. Wait, Kathy, I got a question. Then, yeah. then who do you want to see the Knicks sign in, in the off season? <laughs> no, 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 somebody, no, 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 it, it gotta be more than somebody, no, they gotta, they gotta be a player no, you're targeting. I have no specifics, I have no specifics, cause we yeah. don't know how, nah man, there's, there's too many, there's too many possibles, I Listen, just, man. I, I, nah, I don't. I'm on the, I'm on that Kate. we need, we need, we're gonna get top tier, but we need somebody that is gonna be a high profile scorer, draw a lot of attention, and take some of the pressure off of these other young guys Word. so we can get some shots. The high the, mm-hmm. the big guy the, the big gun shouldn't be Middleton. Yeah. <laughs> what's, right. what's, yeah. what's, what's 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 um what's free agency looking like for 2021? 2021? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not. 49% of the league is free agency. It's 2020. Are they locking? Okay, yeah. locking up. Okay, so locking up. So it's not that much. It's now yeah. or never. It's not that yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's like now or bust. No, there's no God forbid. God forbid. God forbid. God forbid we didn't get anybody, right? We did good in the draft. We did good in the draft. We didn't really pick anybody. It's going to set us back a few years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if we did, if God forbid, shout out to Nick's film school, who actually kind of said this, God forbid that happens, mm-hmm. we would hope we would take, we would trade somebody, take on like a high contract for like a year, mm-hmm. only to get some more first round picks, stock up with some picks. Like I said, set us back a few years. That's what it was going to be. The rebuild will just be mm-hmm. expanded a little, extended a little. Yeah, more. we got mm-hmm. a couple of picks from from Dallas already, mm-hmm. right? I think we got like two two first round yeah, picks yep. from Dallas. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just keep adding to the pile, keep adding first round picks. Okay, mm-hmm. until we that either Dallas draft pick. really good or pull a Celtics move, package them together to get somebody else. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, yeah, if Ninja P, aka Scott Perry, is, is, yeah, exactly. is that's right. <laughs> so we have some contingency plans. That's yeah. Cool. Okay. yeah. Okay. Keep that. Keep that as Plan E. Definitely not A. But E. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So, 
I got a chance to take a look at um the man that came up from the G League. Kadeem Allen. It's back. What do you think about Kadeem Allen? What's your what's your take on him overall? I just listen, man. Everybody knows I think I think everybody knows now. I said a couple episodes ago I have a man I have a basketball man crush on Kadeem Allen. Listen, oh boy, here we go. His game is smooth. His man. game is smooth, man. Like, it's like he's been in the league for a while. He doesn't I, rush. His finishes are he's so under control. Yeah, like to me, he's been a lot of the times he's been the best guard yeah. on the squad. Yeah. Hands down. And people be taking shots. At Frank, yo, he's better than Frank already. It's like, dude, he's like 26, right? <laughs> <laughs> he's a little older. <laughs> How old is Moutier? Moutier, he's, it's young, like he's still like 22, young. 23. Yeah. Okay. Now, Kadeem, Kadeem's game, is he's got a good game, man. Yeah, but I tr- I kind of tr- I trust him, man. He's been... Yeah, I don't have an anxiety when he has the ball. I, I don't have an anxiety. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I just kind of... I just, I just felt... I felt mad that when we sent him down when Moutier came. Yeah, and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna crap on Moody because Moody had a good game today. Uh-huh. He did. He did. <laughs> yeah, as much as I hate that guy, man, he's doing his thing right now. I can't even front. That jump shot looking good. <laughs> it is. Oh, you don't Moody. Like Moody. Moody's hitch. The hitch seems to be going in yeah. the jump shot. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. He's been working. Oh, you're not, yeah. you're not a Moody fan. Not at all. <laughs> <laughs> Man, hey, you should have been yo. with us last season. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm yeah. not going to bring it up. Don't worry about it. Don't yeah. worry about it. Oh, we got some Moody yeah. fans oh. in the building. Nah, 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 nah. You know, um, some people had some nicknames last season. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. Right. yeah. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Yeah. Ryan is talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go. Just trying to cop a Yo, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna find that episode. <laughs> episode <laughs> okay, <laughs> don't worry about it. I'm just, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Kathy, you and I, you and I gonna do some. Yeah, it was the next coming. Kathy, you and I gonna do some research. <laughs> we gonna, we gonna pull that episode, and, and then you make. <laughs> Okay, don't worry about YouTube, it. YouTube, if you're watching, don't do any research. <laughs> One day, I'm going to hit that clip button and it's going to be you. <laughs> Coming up with that. Yo, that's about to be your intro. Yo, that's the thing. Just watch. Just watch. Just watch. Yo, we got 80 episodes Damn, or so now. Just about to be your Yo, we got intro, 80 episodes. Dang. Oh, listen, <laughs> listen. I'm about to be on a plane for several hours. Oh, I'm gonna find it. Word. I'm gonna take some music check out. Uh, <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Um. Keep you busy. So do we? Have, <laughs> we have any stats on 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 Kadeem or? Uh-huh. Actually, actually, I do have a stat. Okay. Oh, sure. Reminding me. Yeah, My man Kadeem Allen has played what eleven games for us so far, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and in those eleven games, he's averaging about eleven points, four okay. assists, a steal, yeah, with an assisted turnover ratio of three point five, the Ooh. highest of any member of our team. Wow. What? And he comes off the bench? Yes, from the G League. <laughs> yeah. Right off the bench, coming up from the G League. Nice. I can't remember what Moody Moody's was, but it was a lot better than Moody's. Um, <laughs> Moody, uh, I, I said I wasn't gonna talk trash about him. Listen, <laughs> it's it just being factual. That's all it is. Okay, I'll say this. Uh huh. Moody's assist to turnover ratio. I don't know it offhand, mm-hmm. but I do know it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's a word that Kathy said earlier. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he's been averaging more turnovers than a <laughs> six, yeah. especially since he's been back. That's not good. Yeah. I mean, I mean, your dude is out here chucking shots and he's not really passing the ball off. Yeah. So usually oh, that results man. in a bad assist turnover ratio. I will <laughs> say this Lakers game though, he seemed to have a, like a change of heart. He's like he sent he wanted to pass the ball today. Well, here's yeah. the thing. <laughs> here's the thing too. Yeah. This is why friendly competition is great. Mm. And he might not even admit it, but when you got Kadeem coming up from the G League and hey. his rating's higher than yours, what? coming off the bench, mm-hmm. it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, I got to do something. I got to do something <laughs> I gotta if gotta I want to keep my slot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. Especially considering, like, the, the Spurs game. And you, you saw the Spurs yeah. game, right? Yeah. So the Spurs game, DeAndre Jordan, right? <laughs> Damn, he had a triple-double. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nine assists. Who, who was close to nine assists on the team after 
Nobody. Your big man. Yeah. You look, you look at the guards. Assist two, three. Why is the big man got nine assists and Moody getting them? Moody getting them. Got like a combined total of four. That's, <laughs> Why you think oh, so that's what I'm saying. Like when you have when you have that that competition on your back, it's like, oh, I might lose my position, my slot. Yeah. Not only that, the man plays defense. The man, I think, shooting like 50% from three or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. from the field. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, He's a very smart player. Very smart player, man. I'm just saying keep him. If he end up not re-signing Moody next season, it bring, I'll, yeah. I'll be I'll okay with that guy. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yo, give him a real shot. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. That's what I think they need to do. He's they earned need, it, I think. He's, they, definitely, he's earned definitely earned it. it. They need to give him a real shot. Oh, but here's the question, though. Mm. You're saying give him a real shot, but even if Moody goes, Dennis Smith Jr. is going to still be on the contract. Frank Nilakin is going to still be on the contract. So you'll be giving him time over Frank? You got to put uh, Frank at like the off wall you know too what? and like I think mix I him might. around. I think I might. Here's I think thing. I might, man. Man, here's, uh, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It depends. Like, Frank, we, in, we have a lot more invested in Frank. So I of would course. like. You sure? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, we, we drafted him. This is so we have him for a couple, yeah. of, you know, a couple more seasons under a contract. So, because right. then we really have him on a, a two way right now. Mm-hmm. I think he expires next season, or mm-hmm. the option to pick him up next season. So, really, Frank's ceiling is like a tall Kadeem Allen, right? Like okay. he's he's almost like we really want Frank to be Kadeem Allen, but taller and it be able to kind of guard multiple positions. Right, that's really what we want. Right, right. So. If Frank reached his potential, he would be more viable because he's six seven and can kind of mm-hmm. shoot like it seems like he might be able to. Mm-hmm. But um, it's just it's just it's just really on it's really on the team, like w- how patient are they? Because we already knew drafting him that he was a project. Exactly. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And oh, I like that. I like that terminology you just used. Yeah, like, yeah, the pro- yeah. He's a, he's a project. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not I mean, a prodigy, a project. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, oh man! Like you have a lot of projects on this team. Oh, yeah, a whole bunch. A lot of yeah, science you know, experiments. It's been like that for like ten years. I'm tired yeah. of it. Yeah. Come on, man. But like, like if 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 we're in a position where we're trying to save money and we have a Kyrie here and we flip DSJ for another piece or whatever, whatever, mm. then. I would roll with Kadeem and have Frank in the G League or something like that. Wow, really? Oh. I would. I wouldn't go that far. Say that's word. Hard. Edson, Edson, what number is this? What? No, oh, episode? Mm-hmm. I'm going to figure that out. Once <laughs> I figure it Yeah, I'm going to figure that out. Let's, let's, we Take a note. If, Take a note. Take a note. Write it down. Write it down. Write it down. Now, if, if we swipe, if we like, because you know, like we said, we talked about the last few weeks, the timeline shifts. Mm-hmm. The timeline shifts. We, we're trying to win more now than develop. Yeah, I right. see what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? So Kadeem and Kadeem, he hasn't really proven himself, mm-hmm. but he's proven himself more. I'm about to say yeah, but he's. I mean, he's consistently so far. Right. I mean, mm-hmm. It's only it only been a few games, but because he's he, consistently showing that he can contribute. And I don't yeah. think that's gonna mm-hmm. stop. Yeah. So you would think that at, the, at that point we probably try to find a lot of cheap free agents. Mm-hmm. To bring mm. here, who want to bring Chase, with maybe or just join KD and Kyrie or whatever. Mm-hmm. If that that's the case, then we're gonna have you know if somebody's in the G League. He's gonna be mad cheap. I would sign him in. Mm-hmm. I would do that. I'll say I'll say this though about um Kadeem Allen. Like, if the Knicks do end up having to move Dennis Smith Jr. or Frank Nilakina because they want to get an extra piece to help out KD and Kyrie towards winning the championship or whatnot. I can't see I can't see a situation where they're like, you know what? We do need a we just need a reliable backup point guard to yeah. Kyrie so bring up Kadeem Allen and have him run the backup point. Because that's what we need. He's, he seems he's, right now he seems very reliable. Yeah, yeah. Then that's what we kind of need. If we can get somebody reliable on the cheap, mm-hmm. because we playing right, yes. playing everybody super max yes. on the squad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the, that might be the move. Frank and the G League. I mean, yeah. And if if, if we're still oh, building man, young, tough. if we're still building young, if we're still going young, we swing out, we we strike out in free agency, mm. and we're still trying to build for the future. Then bring Frank up and give him the minutes. Mm. That's if he doesn't come back 
But in the off season, if he comes out in the off season, yeah, beast mode, then, then that's, 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 that's a whole different. That's but that's then that's a whole, a whole different, different scenario. Yeah. yeah, but we're basing it off what we see right now. Yeah. Right. That's kind of what we're expecting. It's gonna be his third year, right? Mm-hmm. And that's usually when <laughs> these players take that next level. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's usually cool, man. Is. It's just he missed so much time this year. I'm about uh-huh. to say that I'm like, damn, is this is setting the timeline back? That could be true too. I guess, and I'm not gonna say there's been no improvement. I want to see how very marginal. Yeah, okay, very that's marginal. so you answer my question. I was like, how big is the improvement? Yeah. Mm-hmm. From one season one to season two. Mm-hmm. So usually season three is like, oh, okay, yeah. we, mm-hmm. but we haven't seen that much difference yeah. from yeah. season one. I just you see know? him dribbling a little bit more. Yeah, mm-hmm. like and I, yeah. actually taking some jump shots. Yeah. Yeah. I and, almost feel like the defense might have declined a little bit. Because I feel like the focus was him being more aggressive oh, offensively. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. So that's gonna happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, so it's like I don't know, I feel like it was people around him. Yeah, and, and that, that too, man. I feel like when him and Dot was playing together, the defense looked better. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then was yeah, because that's you, a, that's it's team good, defense. Yeah. 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 Uh, and, and like I said on the previous um, episode, too, that, um, you know, with Frank, like, out of all the pieces that we have, like, I can't see Frank as a guy that the Knicks might keep, especially if we get a Katie and Kyrie, because you do need a player that will be able to, you know, okay. score off ball. You know, they don't need a ball in their hands to score. And that's why I'm like, this summer, like, if Frank really wants to solidify his spot on the roster, he needs to pull a De'Aaron Fox and shoot all the time. Just, oh, like, yeah. just shoot the ball this mm-hmm. summer and, make, and give yourself a reliable jump shot. Mm-hmm. So that in certain situations where, say, for example, if KD and Kyrie does come, then he could play that off ball because he's, he's big enough to be a wing. Basically, yeah, yeah. so you know, you can have him as a three and D wing potentially if he's able to get his jump shot up to a reasonable level. I wonder if Fizz is gonna let him do that. <laughs> yeah, Fizz has definitely got plans for how he wants Frank. He's gonna, he's making that pitch for Moody. Again. He's he's trying to get Moody to super max though. <laughs> <laughs> That's his project. Though. Another one of his projects, man. So, you know. And right now, Mario might get one too, yo. Wow. Yeah, yeah for blocking LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> yo, Mario blocked LeBron and stepped over Giannis. Though he played, he hasn't played that many games, but he has all the iconic. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he be getting cocky too, guy. He stared down LeBron. Yeah, he, yeah. Oh, oh, but you gotta God. remember, man. Like at that level, they are the best player out of whatever situation they came out okay. of. So they already okay. had that added. That yeah. attitude's already there. I yeah. Think, so you get to block the. Mario... Best player in this era? Yeah. yeah. yeah you get to stare down, bro. That's yeah. a fact. That's a fact. But he, he need to chill because LeBron gave him a little pat on the back earlier that game. Like, good defense, man. Yeah. And he was like, nah, son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. But, but you know what? I'm not even mad at that. You, you're, in a, you're in the heat of competition. Well, pat me on my back. I was like, okay. You know? <laughs> Afterwards, okay, cool. Yeah. Yo, when Mario in the beginning of last season did the press conference with the, the little girl and told her, you don't, do you know who I am? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's, yeah, that now, now you gotta press the chill, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are. Actually, that's crazy. Yeah, I like, actually like, don't know who you are. To be honest, just, just to be honest, to be honest with honest you, here. I don't Raise know yourself. who you are. Remind me, please. <laughs> Remind Do me you again? know who I am? Actually, I don't. <laughs> I hope she told him no to his face too. <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, "It's me, Mario." <laughs> yeah, I think he did say that. I think he said he's Super Mario. Yo, little girl should be like, "Yo, whose man's is this afterwards?" Oh man, so we definitely had the Lakers game today. What other games do we have this week? Uh, we had the Lakers, Spurs. Mm-hmm. There was one more, I think. Mm. Let's I don't see. Know. Do we just want to focus on the Lakers game? Let's just do the. We can. You can do the Lakers. I mean, I know what we had the viewing party, so I didn't. I saw oh, the Spurs game. Oh, oh, let's but I didn't talk. Really? Because I was just talking. Of course, let's talk people. about that though. I, unless I, you want to. Yes, wanna, the Spurs and Pacers. Okay. Yeah. That was the okay. So, the viewing party was filled with the Pacers game. Was not the Spurs. Spurs game? Okay. Yeah. So let's talk about um, which one was first. Um, the Pacers on Tuesday. Okay. No, I don't remember anything. So let's talk about <laughs> let the stats and the facts may take that, and then I want you to actually talk about that uh, that viewing party, okay. you know, how that mm. went, I was and right. then we can go to the Lakers after that. All right, so um, Knicks world out there, since none of us has a recollection recollection of this game, <laughs> so I'm I'm, I'm, I'm I'm just gonna go through the stats right quick. PTSD. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> the Paces won 1398. Oh. Surprising. Yeah. <laughs> um, for the Pacers, um, Bogdanovic, former net, 24 points, four rebounds, two yeah. assists. We just be 
Yeah. 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 Darren Collison, 16 points, 9 assists. Oh, I remember he was killing us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was killing us. Miles M- Turner, 15 points, 9 rebounds. He was, oh, he was, yeah. he was locking yeah. these things out. It's oh, like, okay. Yeah. Was he killing Mitch, yo? Yeah, he was a little bit. Yeah. He's kind of too much yeah. body. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of like, it's, it's kind of like, <laughs> it's funny. I kind of see Mitch being like a, s- s- some version of Miles Turner, yo. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I mean, with better blocking, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, he's not. You know. I mean, if the train is right and he can shoot, then maybe. Yeah. yeah. Former Nick great for two games, Wesley Matthews. Uh, 14 points oh, on four of eight shooting oh, shoot from the now. field. Right. <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Oh, well, now, now you can get buckets. Okay, cool. Exactly. People were getting mad at me for saying that, that he was out here looking like Tim Hardaway Jr. when he was here he for was two crazy. games. Because that's, that's, that's too far. <laughs> <laughs> And then Thaddeus Young had 10 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists. Yeah. Jesus now I'm going to the, now I'm get to the Knicks. Your boy, Damian Dotson. Free Dot! Led all the starters with 18 points, 6 rebounds, yeah, 3 assists. Yeah, my guy Dot is balling out Solid. 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 Yeah, Lee and Tim Hardaway Jr. have the go, so my boy Dot can fly, man. That's <laughs> <what> <laughs> yeah. Your other boy, Emmanuel Moutier, had 21 points, led all scores. Oh, okay. take it. Mood. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Knox had an efficient game. 16 points, 4 rebounds, 5 of 9 shooting from the field, 4 of 5 from 3. Good solid. Okay. I love that. Oh, I'm going to just say, Kevin Knox has been playing pretty well. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's been consistent. A Listen, lot man. more don't, consistent. Don't let him hear that. He needs to keep it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Knox Keep working. Skip over this. <laughs> yeah. And then DeAndre Jordan, 12 points, 16 rebounds, 5 assists. Hey. Yeah, man. I do remember he had 5 turnovers. Point so. center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, as for the team stats, let me see if there's anything that stood out. The Knicks had 19 turnovers, and that pretty much killed them. Damn. Oh! right? Huh? <laughs> Sounds about right. Yo, here's yeah. the thing, though. We <laughs> haven't... We've always been a low-turnover team until the trade happened. Mm. So, I don't know what's happening right now. Hmm. I know Dennis Smith Jr., he's been throwing a lot of lazy passes. Hmm. And it seems like Moody has been turnover in the, turning the ball over a lot more than even usual. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I don't... And... I don't know. You know, I, man, sometimes... And probably the point center, too. The point center had five turnovers that game. I think what happens, too, is a long season, one, right? And mental focus can come in and out. And even some of the championship teams say this. But it's like, even though they're still working and they're still working on winning, in the back of their minds, they got to know, like, well, this don't really, you know, this is not going to really count for anything. It's it, subconsciously because for after the trade that happened to then the turnover was to go up, what's happening? That's mental. I mean, it could be personnel. It also could be we actually passing the ball more. <laughs> that could be it too because we were the bottom of the league in passing the ball before before the trade happened. And now mm-hmm. where are we? Uh, I don't know. I think we're in the middle somewhere. Okay. But, you know, if you're passing the ball more, you probably have more turnovers. True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, my God. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yo, Khan, yo, yo, check the stats on that. Check, yo, check the stats on that yeah, for next week. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, it, it, it depends because I mean, you could pass the ball more, and these passes be smart passes, or you could pass that's the ball. That's why I said, I, yeah, you know what I'm saying. I don't so know. I, I don't you know. know. You've been doing a driving kick, but then you know you driving kick, and then the kick don't. Then that means the pass is lazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then it's been junior. He kind of turns the ball over. Yeah. See, then it's a problem. Yeah. You know. Okay. That was the Patriots game? Yeah. All right. Now, Jay, uh, I didn't even really watch the game, but tell us a little bit about the uh, the viewing that you went to, and then we'll go into the stats. Oh, the viewing was dope, man. It was uh, all the Knicks Twitter put together by Post and the Toast and the Knicks Film School. Uh, but they was over there along with, uh, KL- I represent the KLT show. Nice. And, uh, mm-hmm. and uh, Hard Knicks Life, we were all there. We were watching the game. Nice. And chatting it up, talking about, Crying about the Knicks, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we lost, but everybody still had a good time. It was a nice, nice turnout. It was mad packed in there. Nice. And where was it at? It was um. Damn, what's the name? Of it? I have a bad memory. I can't throw it off the bat. But it was around that. It was in around the Madison Square Garden. Area. Okay. Okay. Cool. Mm-hmm. And I mean, and we all bonded after watching uh, Zion 
<laughs> oh, yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Go, go, go. Yeah. After nice. Zion win, the, the place started chanting Zion after the win. Wow, really let's great. go. Y'all yeah, should have all held hands and prayed for that. Man. Right. <laughs> you kind of yeah. did. That was a Knicks way of playing. <laughs> exactly. It was a good time, man. It was a good nice, time. Nice. I, I saw enough to know that Dennis, that um, DeAndre Jordan was had more assist than everybody else, and everybody needed to step it up. Okay. And I saw enough to know that Kadeem Allen was balling out here. Mm. He was the only one playing well in that first half. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And other guards need to step it up. And yeah. that's why I, that's when I knew. I was like, yeah, we need to talk about Kadeem Allen. Dope. Dope. <laughs> we'll get back I really wish I could have could have been there. Because it, it was, man, it, it, mm. once you set that, the, the invite, I'm like, this looks like it's going to be fun. Yeah. yeah. And it was asking about y'all, too. And it was like, yo, where's Ryan? That's where's, dope. <laughs> <laughs> you ever seen Kathy and Edson in the middle? Yo. That's dope. About you. That's dope. That's I had dope. every intention mm-hmm. to be there. Yeah, I know. Life yeah. happened. I understand. I understand. Life happened. I understand. Of yeah, course. Congrats. Yeah. And also, shout out to uh, uh, Phil Jackson's brain. Follows us on Twitter. He he gave us a big big up. Yeah. Oh wow. Was, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. He, he like he really likes the show. So shout out to Phil Jackson's brain. Man. Dope, dope. Mm-hmm. All right. So what are the say. um stats from that game, sir? Yeah, I'm gonna run through these stats quickly because this was a smacking. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Smacking. Yeah, Spurs won 109-83. I don't even want to hit the all button. Yeah. I might as well hit the all button for that. Was that. That's just like... That was game, because we smacked him in New York. Right. Yeah. Or beat him anyway. I don't want to say smack. We beat him. Yeah, we beat him. <laughs> that wasn't yeah, that wasn't exactly a smack him, yeah. but... Um. <laughs> it's like maybe a little like, love tap. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, LaMarcus Aldridge, 18 points, 11 rebounds. Yeah. He's still on the board. Yeah. DeMar DeRozan, 13 points, 7 assists, 4 rebounds. Yeah, yeah. Forbes, 13 points. Rudy Gay, 12 points off the bench. Mm. Yeah. Bellinelli, 12 points off the bench. Mm-hmm. Nick Stats, Dotson <laughs> led the way, 21 points. Hey, hitting 20. Okay, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Free dot, dot, damn it. Yo. <laughs> Kadeem Allen had 16 points, three Good. rebounds <laughs> off the bench. Mm. Yeah, Emmanuel Moutier, 14 points. Okay. DeAndre, DeAndre Jordan with the near triple double, 11 points, 30 rebounds, 9 assists. Damn. So, wait, was that more assists than all the guards combined? Yeah. That, that's what I'm checking right now. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. I think, they had, I think the guards had a combined yeah. so, assists. So, let's do a tally right now. Okay. Moutier. Two assists. Okay. Assist. Should we throw Dotson in there since he's a guard? Sure, yes. He's okay. points yes. now. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Dotson, two assists. Okay. Trier, one assist. Uh-huh. Kadeem Allen, one assist. Okay. I'm going to throw Jenkins in there too. He's a shooting guard. <laughs> one assist. Okay. So together, let's see. Let me seven. see. One, two, That's three. seven. Yeah, seven. And Kadeem was playing off ball, just to let you know. He wasn't even playing guard. Okay. That... All right. <laughs> okay. well, so, uh, our point center had uh, more <laughs> horrible, <laughs> yo, more assists horrible. than all of our guards. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, man. Uh, Start of the day. Oh, uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to get to team stats. Okay. Spurs shot 53% from the field, while the Ooh. Knicks only shot 40.7% from the field. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're not winning with that. <laughs> exactly. Those aren't winning numbers? Nah, not <laughs> at all. Definitely not. And... As usual, Knicks get outscored in the paint 48 to 36. Mm-hmm. And the Knicks turn over the ball 16 times, which resulted in 15 points off turnovers for the Spurs. That's actually kind of lucky. Yeah. It was only 15 points. Right. right. That's, a, yeah. that's potentially what? At least 32. Yeah, yeah it yeah. could be. That's yeah. at least 32 points if they, you know, scored on each one of those. That's yeah. Right. If you guys get a chance, get um watch the post game to that. David Fisdale gives it hilarious. Oh, well. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? He, you get his body language, his demeanor, he's just hot. He's mad. Like, <laughs> it was hilarious. He's like, yo, wait till I get off this pool. He looked like he wanted to smack everybody on the team. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> wait till I get off this pool. <laughs> Mr. Fit, this supposed to be jolly and happy and positive energy. And, you know, we're supposed to learn the lessons. And, you know, one My game at a time. <laughs> yo, after All-Star break. You seen this deterioration of David Fisdale's happy man? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone stole his happy man. Somebody find that man's happy. Yeah, it's when all we, good. When we get them free agents. That's when they have exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. Free, when, free, that's free when the agents is on for real for him. Yeah, mm-hmm. free agents plus Zion, oh, he'll, yeah. and he'll be very happy. Oh, yeah. oh that's, that's when happy comes back. Yeah. yeah. Right. Oh man. All right. Well, wait. Quick question. Yeah. Do we think that um David Fisdale has the 
say we get Zion, Kyrie, and KD. Can Fisdale make that a championship contender? I think so. You think so? I think so. Or in least, the first year? Not the first. Not, not, I, he didn't say how long. I don't think oh, in the first year. Yeah, not, yeah, not in the first year. In his tenure? I think in his tenure he could. I think he could. I think he could. The, the 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 other pieces, man. I want you would have to see some growth from Dotson, from Trier. I would see Dotson, Trier, Mitch. If those guys can kind of that's a mm-hmm. here's the thing can kind of do something, can he like take that next step? Because mm-hmm. he like can, I expect him to. He yeah. can pull out as much as he can from each player, but it's still gonna be on the players at the end of the day. Yeah, man. Yeah. The end of the day. So you know, he, I feel like he he has really good strategies. One with managing personalities and connecting with players, and two a strategy to win, mm-hmm. but. Mm-hmm. At the end, he's got to be the players that's doing it. And we need the right pieces mm-hmm. to do exactly what he wants. But I feel like if he has those right pieces, mm-hmm. then he mm-hmm. can do it. I'm, start, I'm starting to think that he might be here as a placeholder. Mm-hmm. Just, to, no. just to groom our play, our young guys to see if but we can get who? them to be good. Nah. For... You sound like the word. Oh, but he has a, he has oh. a name. Oh. Conspiracy theory. Mark Jackson. No! What? Mark Jackson. <laughs> No, Mark. That, I don't want to say that ship is sailed, but we were we were we were banking yeah, on Mark. That, mm-hmm. We were banking on Mark when they were trying to fill a spot in the first place. So, I wasn't but, banking on Mark. But if they were gonna groom for Mark, they should just got Mark because we saw what they were nope. going to stay. Yeah. He doesn't yeah. want to do that again. He doesn't want to sit through the shitty process and possibly lose his job. So you think so it's Steve you think it's Mark that decided like he didn't want that job? I think nah. Mark said I don't want that job. What? Nah. Oh. I, I think Mark said he don't want the job because think about it. They've we're tanking crazier than ever. Like mm-hmm. nobody's losing the way we are, right? Nobody it, you could eat, when I watch the game I feel like I see tanking. Like people are purposely. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's really. What, I, don't, I don't think we're purposely tanking. I think. You don't think we're purposely? Nah, I think. Uh, I nah. think talent wise, we're we're young. We're still trying to figure out how to win games. We just don't know how to win games right now. Like I feel mm-hmm. like we're just losing because we have young, unexperienced talent on the floor. One point. One point that I've heard you make a few times is that <laughs> David Fisdale doesn't call any actual plays mm. and, and like even after like a timeout or whatever but um if you're not tanking wouldn't you be like trying to draw some plays and see if you could get Kevin Knox into I think he's trying something. to make him figure it out I think the I fact think, that he's making playing Kevin Knox this many minutes yeah it's, 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 what's, I got CP shout out to the post game, post game line <laughs> development tank is the phrase he uses yeah. <laughs> yes <laughs> yes trying, trying okay to, yes, to, yes. Trying, he's trying to get them to figure it out yeah, yeah. and, and, it, and, and it's it like cause you need that experience that in game yeah. experience you gotta figure that out mm-hmm. and once you start figuring it out then in the off season and you get these other experience pieces now you can start mm-hmm. doing formulating stuff. I I I think I think developmental mm-hmm. tanking is a that's a perfect term. Yeah. Like that, they're really trying to develop that young talent. So that, you, no, go ahead, go ahead. that would suck too if he drew up a play and they couldn't complete it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, happened a few times. And, and yeah. so I feel like he's like, <laughs> he's like yeah. you know what? <laughs> you guys figure it out. Here's, here's what we're yeah. trying to accomplish. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, like I do mm-hmm. understand like something when he had back in the day when he had Tim Hardaway Jr. guarding the, the best player on a team uh. that, that seemed like tanky to me <laughs> that particular situation or is that development tank <laughs> development what uh, I, I, I think I, I think it's development tank because if you're really trying to increase Tim Hardaway's defense and have him be a more um, defensive player you do have to put him in situations no. where it's like, you know what? No. I want to put you on the best no. guy. I want to put, put you on the best tank. offensive. No. I want to put no. you on the best offensive player. Put development and Tim in the that's same why I, That's why I'm <laughs> saying be, no. It can't be a thing. No. Like, development and Tim Hardaway Jr. in the same you know how, You know what Tim Hardaway needs to be developed? Nah, son. Sent to the Send G League. <laughs> that's what he needs. That's, that's the development. I mentioned this last oh, week. Dallas fans are already tired of him. I don't, I'm not surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even turn this into Tim Hardaway Jr. Basic session because he's gone now. Send him but... back to Atlanta. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Get your jokes in. off because you, <laughs> you flame Melo. I flamed Tim all this season. Huh? <laughs> 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 and I wasn't, I wasn't even a real Melo flame. Nah, that's hurtful. It My was, man not playing. Was, that wasn't even a real Melo nah, flame. Nah, that hurt. It was a shot. I actually want Melo to play. I actually want Melo to play and be yeah, nah, he, I want Melo to play too, I'm actually man. flaming Tim Hardaway because he's like, come on, girl. <laughs> <laughs> 20 like, million, the bro. Ball, play some defense. Yo, I'm telling you, like, yo, since they acquired Tim Hardaway Jr., Dallas just been going, zoop. 
Down. They trying to tank too. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to take for Zion, man. Enjoy that, KP. We got Enjoy dibs, that. Tim. We got dibs. Enjoy that, KP. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Facts. Facts. Uh, reunited, huh? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Could y'all imagine if we got Zion and then watching KD and Zion's first game against each other? That's going to be good. I'm waiting for Mitch to block him. <laughs> to no. block KP? Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mitch and Zion going to block him. At the same time. Y- yeah. <laughs> At the same damn time, yo. Mm. Oh, man. Okay. So, um, today's game. Yes. We can... Mitch <laughs> win! Got that duck. <laughs> um, stacks and the facts, man. Yeah, so the Knicks actually won. <laughs> I'm, won. Give, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I got to The Knicks won. That was a double win. Yeah, Is the, that right. It could be LeBron. I mean. <laughs> the, the, the Knicks win 124-123. Okay, oh, now. Yeah. And the great news about this win is that despite the win, the Knicks are still... At top, on the top of the Zion Williams standings okay. right now. All right. <laughs> all right. That's all right. We took the win and we still up. Thank yeah. you, strong. Thank you, Phoenix, for one of those three games in a row. Exactly. <laughs> Matter of fact, didn't Phoenix win last night, too? They, 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 I think they did. Win. Oh, what are you hell is <laughs> coming up with Phoenix, damn it. <laughs> okay, so, you know, as because I know it's been a while, so the people out there might not know how we do things when the Knicks win. <laughs> <laughs> I even forgot. Yeah, but um, when the Knicks win, I do not, I do not read the visiting team stats. Nope. Exactly. It's just Knicks stats. Exactly. Yeah, I don't matter. So, um, Emmanuel Moutier had a game today. Mood. Twenty-eight <laughs> points, okay. eight assists, what? and he was eight of eleven from the field. That's Efficiency. Assists. That's what I'm talking about. Dude. Yeah, exactly. Why would you name him that after he does all that? Oh, damn. <laughs> what did she say? Cop the plea. Why would you say that? Cop the plea. Cop the plea. Don't even worry about it. We going back in the archives. We going back in the archives. Oh, man. Cop, cop, oh, yeah, please. Cop the plea. Cop the plea. Why would Kathy. she name him that? Yeah, uh, that's okay. Or, okay, listen, that Kathy, I got you. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Be here. Be here. You see how Ryan mad quiet too, right? Because he knows. <laughs> <laughs> mad disrespectful. Oh, I'm man. here for you, me. <laughs> now. Dam- free dot. Damian Dotson had 25.6 rebounds. Ooh. Free dot. Flaming him, yo. Three pointers was hit. Yeah. And he's well. He was hitting layups today, dog. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now. Kevin Kevin Knox, 19 mm-hmm. points, 6 Kevin rebounds, Knox. 8 of 14 from the field. <laughs> Mario Hazanja made use of his 36 minutes today. 17 points, 8 rebounds, a block of LeBron James, and 4 of 8 from the field. Mm-hmm. It's me, Mario. Great game. First game back from injury. Yeah, mm-hmm. what a block. I thought Henry Ellison was going to take your minutes. He took it back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and DeAndre Jordan had himself a game too. 15 points, 17 rebounds, 7 assists. Oh. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, DeAndre O'Quinn? <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh, Matt, matter of fact, Kathy's MCM, he's on, he, he got a bro pick this, up this week. He he, oh. he he he's he's gonna be the bro picks this okay, week. Okay, all right. Take, take, yo, take it easy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you sat on the opposite side, Cap? Today <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you know what? I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sit over. Yeah, <laughs> get out <of> arms distance. <laughs> so the Knicks this game shot 58 percent from the field, 46 percent from three. What? Riveting Lakers defense. <laughs> I'll yeah, I'll right. <laughs> Yeah, Lakers not, don't, don't, aren't really good at that defense thing. Mm-hmm. Nah, definitely not. I still give the Knicks credit for actually playing well at a 12 p.m. game when they've been sucking right, in those exactly. day yeah. games mm-hmm. all season mm-hmm. long. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can only yeah. name like five people on that team now, the Lakers. LeBron, 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 LeBron. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron, LeBron, LeBron. Rondo. Dylon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's some weird lineups out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, and the last stat I want to throw out there, the Knicks out rebounded the Lakers 45 to 35. Whoa! When's the last time you had that? And also, I got a hot take about the Lakers, too. Okay. Mm. Pe- people were thinking that the reason why they fell off was because of LeBron. It was not because of LeBron. Hmm. 
It was because Alonzo. Ooh. Mm. Oh, wait, 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 is that, are, are you his dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never lost. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but, nah, real talk though, because you have to think about what Alonzo brings to the Lakers. Good, Lakers struggle defensively. He's a good defensive point guard. Mm -hmm. Okay. He's also good at pushing pace. Yes. Mm -hmm. He's also good at finding people on the fast break for easy baskets. Right. Lonzo is more important to the Lakers than people think. What, what sneakers is Ryan wearing? I think the balls. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yo, that was like when someone comes up behind you and that wasn't even. Matter of fact, matter matter of fact, they're, they're Kyrie. So stop the hate, all right? They're Kyrie's, all right? Stop the hate. It's not so. It's not the new ball. The feature ones. Ball eleven. Nah, nah, nah. These, these, nah. These are the Kyrie's because I'm trying. I'm trying to speak Kyrie and Zion into existence, all right? They both come to the Knicks, all right? Find out Ryan got up. A, a quick so, pair of the big so balls at home. <laughs> 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 oh, man. It's It's alright though because the ref called a charge on that alley oop though. So I still, so I still win regardless. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so funny. All right, well, those are all the games so far. So I guess we can move into uh, our favorite segments of the show. Mm -hmm. Oh! Now, I caught a few highlights, but I know uh, Jay always has oohs. Uh, anybody else got ooh picks? Uh, hmm. Nah, I haven't watched the Knicks game this week, so. Kind of <laughs> <kinda, kinda laughs> difficult. It's kind of difficult. It's kind of difficult. You know. I mean, he's, mm. we definitely saw some clips. Um, Did we? Yeah. Okay. You know what? Since nobody, do you, always, no, go for always... it. Yeah, no, no, no. You could, you could take, you could take that one. All right. All right. You can take that one. So 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 so. So I don't. Damn it! What was the? That was exactly? the. Com that was the it, community. It was the community. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold up. How how you forgetting? I'm trying to. I'm trying oh wait. On number three, when he when um. Yeah yeah. I'm trying to remember this, this, the whole scenario. I'm trying to build a story, man. Yeah, oh, <laughs> oh, all right. I'm about to say like <laughs> how, like yo like yo like yo, like yo how you like yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. like like yo how you forgetting yeah. that? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> You know how Jay has to tell the story. Yeah, yeah, yeah true. Yeah, 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 yeah true. That <laughs> so okay, you gotta tell the story. Yeah, so, so my guy, the dream, right? <laughs> starts off with the play. He starts off the left side of the court. Okay. He drives right. Defense shifts a little bit, mm -hmm. and then my guy Zoe rotates <laughs> 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 to the center of the court. The dream sees Zoe passes him the ball. Zoe. Has um heart following him, hits him with a little jab right across his left, but um heart soul went right and to the kept pole. going right, <laughs> right. So man down, right heart hits the floor, <laughs> tree crosses left, pulls uh. up, hits the jumper. Oh, oh what a nice one! Oh, a lot man. of people on Twitter saying that wasn't. I don't know how they. <laughs> uh, that's because they here's the thing. Yeah. Here's the thing. A crossover, literally, a crossover is a shifting from one yeah. direction to the other. Okay. He hit him with the jab he, stuff he and he jab. crossed him the, to the left. The jab it wasn't a dribble crossover, but he crossed him. <laughs> yeah. you know. He life. fell. He yeah. fell. He, he fell. He, he touched fell. earth, so. Yeah. And he was down. stuck going right and couldn't recover. That's, that's a. Jab, yeah. <laughs> he did a slide back, too. He didn't and, even. Right, because he's like, I don't want to hurt my ankles. I don't want to hurt my I'm just going to slide. Home plate. Um. All right. Anybody else got any other ones? He's forgetting the biggest ooh pick. Like I'm so. So I'm go, go for it. Take it, man. Hazan just block on LeBron. Yeah, build it up, right? <laughs> <laughs> but 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 yo yo yo. But I, but I already said I ain't watched the game, so I didn't want to say it. Oh. All right, we gonna let the, we gonna okay, let the storyteller go for it, man. Go for it. <laughs> go for it. Game is in the balance. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron I was feeling hungry. Feeling hungry. Out of there. Thought he had some food, but no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Mario was over here to take his plate. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> Lakers down by one. LeBron already what four for ten at this point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> four for fifteen. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He sees Mario. Think it's barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. Dribble, dribble, dribble. Kind of hezzy. Mario's still with him. 
takes him down to the left side of the court. Meryl said with him, hits him with the pulls Rejected. up. Meryl said with him. My bad. No, you good. <laughs> <laughs> pulls up. Meryl said with him. Hits him with the fake little jab. Meryl said with him. He fades away. Meryl said with him. He shoots it. Rejected. Hey. <laughs> Mario still with him. But Ooh. now Mario's with the ball. <laughs> can, um, we give, can we give Mario all the credit too? Because he backed him up to like oh yeah. half court. Listen. And thought yeah. he was really going to do something. Yeah. Nah. Mario played defense that entire yeah. play. He moved his feet very well. That entire. Mm-hmm. And then LeBron, as usual, looking mm-hmm. for a foul. Mm-hmm. But there was none. And then the Mario stare down afterwards like. The stare down. Oh, do you know who I am? It's me, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> you, Jay, don't worry. I was a great the alleys in there. You know what? You know what the sad part about that was? There was nobody on the Lakers to rebound, to help, to come Nothing. help LeBron. Yeah, no, nah, like, I didn't even think about nobody, that. Nobody, no man, nobody. He was and, on an when island. You saw, when you saw Mario was playing that good of a defense on on get LeBron, get open, get open. Yo, come help, help, help but that man. But you know what? Everybody thought what LeBron was thinking at that moment. Oh, this is Mario. I got this. I'm gonna take him. Mm-hmm. And and nobody got in a position to take a shot. Nobody cut yeah. to the basket. Nobody did anything. Yeah. <clears throat> oh man. God bless. I got some. More. I got yo. I actually got God another bless. one too. LeBron okay. Getting, which one? LeBron getting cooked. <laughs> yeah. I don't, damn it. You know which one it is too. I'm trying to think. Man. Spurs game. I don't remember. The, I don't remember the scenario, so it's not gonna be a cool story like the oh, other ones. Mm-hmm. But I'm just shouting <laughs> this guy out because he doesn't get no love from nobody or Knicks or or an Eddie Knicks fan ever. But. My dude was on, I think, the left side of the court. All the way left by the corner three. I think he faked the three. Mm. I think he faked the three, drove, jumps in the air, and Tomahawk dunks it. Mad mm. chill, too. Mad chill. <laughs> His face didn't change. No Mad. Mad. <laughs> oh. But the face was ferocious. <laughs> and my man is another other than Lance. Thomas. Make them dance. Yes, yes, man. Lance Thomas with the highlight dunk. Who? Right. Who would have? Who would have thought? Lance. Yeah. Look that up. That joint is crazy. Okay. Well, <laughs> that has to definitely be looked at. Yeah, man. You know what else I can do? Unsung hero. I gotta do this too. I gotta do this too. Um. I will say. Oh, my guy. Here we go. You gotta do a Duke highlight, right? Oh yeah. Why not? <laughs> Feature Nick. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's getting to existence. He's still a Nick. So, so, so I mean, oh man, there was, I think it was the game last night versus Florida. Mm-hmm. Zion has the ball for a fast break. He throws a pass, a bounce pass, oh, damn yeah. near half full court yeah. through yeah. two, through two to the defenders. Point I've seen that. That was nice. <laughs> to uh, what was it Trey? Yeah, Trey, Trey yeah. Jones. Yeah, to, to Trey Jones. For like... Oh! Uh, and, and this is for all of y'all who say that he's just athletic and can't play. No, you pass. Anyway. And right, I'm done. I'm good. All right. <laughs> now we go to the... Uh, Bruh. Bruh yeah. section. Oh, where mm-hmm. we kind of liken this to Shaq and a Fool or like a sports bloopers. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't only keep it to the Knicks. We kind of open it up a little bit. So... Um, <laughs> I know Ryan's got some bruh picks. Anybody else got any bruh picks? Or are we going to let Ryan have the show? Yes. Yeah. I got, got one. It. Okay, yeah, okay. Oh, no, no. Y'all do your thing. <laughs> all all right. right. What you got? So, we all hype, you know what I'm saying? Is, you know, first game back, Syracuse. Okay. Right, Duke. Zion's back. He's back from injury. He's dunking. He's, he's playing. He's coming back after, I think, Duke scores. And all of a sudden, you see a phantom foot. <laughs> oh, 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 man. Yeah, I see that. I yeah. see that. <laughs> Try to trick my man. Who's the Fred Facts. Howard? It was so yeah, it was, it was Howard on um, Syracuse. Yeah. Howard, as Zion is coming back up the court, fresh off an injury, sticks out his foot and trips Zion. He barely tripped, by the way. Barely the tripped ass. him because Zion is, you know, <laughs> 285. He had the new, he had the new, he had the new uh, Kyrie's on, so the right. game was good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he kept the movie. You saw the slow mo. It was like obviously on purpose. So, bro, for that man, yo, Bruh. bro, for the coach was like, oh, I saw the tape, and you know, there was nothing to it. What do you mean, bro? It was, it was, it was, it was, 
There was nothing there. He didn't mm-hmm. do it on purpose. No, stop. Don't do that. Don't exactly. Your dogs. Yeah, but there's a certain like you don't want to cause injury. Like that's that's. Nah, I, mm-hmm. I don't I don't like that at all. I don't like that. At Especially all, his man. Well, that was his first game back, right? Yeah, yeah, first, first game back. Game that was his first yeah. game back. That's dangerous. Yeah, man. I'm sending Dennis Smith after you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Clearly, that man is gonna be like a investment banker or something. Like you gotta, yeah. send, you gotta, send, you gotta send Nick goons. You're gonna send Mitch and <laughs> Mitch don't be playing. Nah, I don't. Uh, all right. I'm good now. Okay. Bro, man from the fifth floor, it's your show. I I so um I have three bro picks. Okay. First bro pick goes to Andre Drummond. Oh, so okay. I don't know. I don't know if y'all saw the play. <laughs> but it was the Pistons versus the Bulls. Okay. Your man Andre Drummond had the ball like near the three point line. You know he was he was sizing up Robin Lopez. You know, trying to you know get his guard game on. Yeah. Right. You know, and he was like, you know what? I'm gonna pull a James Harden. I'm gonna step back. Ooh. So he stepped back Andre behind. Drummond? Yeah. So he stepped back behind the three point line. The ugliest step back. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so you know he stepped back behind the three point line. Mm-hmm. Put it up. Hit off the side of the back, boy. Uh, <laughs> bruh. Uh, <yeah. laughs> oh, I've been trying to let a step back. Yeah. Step back three from the corner. It looked like yeah. yeah. It doesn't bugging. sound like something he should be doing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was working on it. I get it. Yeah. He thought he was. <laughs> it reworked him. Whatever. Right. Yeah. <laughs> My next bro pick goes to Kathy's MCM. Uh-oh. All right, oh, I, I already know this one. Kyle Quinn. Be careful. Be oh, wait, wait, careful. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> For guys, people are not seeing Lean Kathy back. push me out of the way <laughs> politely. Politely. She just gave, yeah, she gave it. She just she wanted her space and room to. Yeah, I want to make my, sure I'm hearing Ryan yeah, correctly. Yeah, my head hurts. She pushed me down. <laughs> <laughs> so she can see Ryan in her line of sight. <laughs> now I know, you know. Give, give her the Mario stare down. When, when they get mad, the reach it increases. <laughs> 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 so I don't know how. Your reach, how's your reach? You know, how's your nah, 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 Listen, nah, nah, just stay, nah, nah. just good. stay okay. back. I mean, it happened, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> stay back. Uh, see the shrink no, no. increase. You can see how fast I move back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead. Was it that play? Yes, it is. Oh, oh my man. God. <laughs> so, what? So, Pacers versus the 76ers. Okay. <laughs> now we all know Joel Embiid, he's a hard guard for anybody right, in the yeah. league. Yes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you man, Khan is always. <laughs> you know, that's and this is really funny though. Yeah, that's the clip. Yeah. Yeah. So you know, as I said, Joel Embiid's a hard guard for anybody. So you know, sometimes you know you can excuse a few players when they're guarding Embiid and Embiid gets the best of them, right? Right. 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 Yeah. So. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so there was a play where Kyle Quinn was guarding Embiid in the paint, and P- Embiid got the ball. <laughs> Kyle Quinn was like, you know what? I'm going to just, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to foul him. I'm just going to raise my hands up in the air and play defense. But instead, he just moved out the way <laughs> and let MB get it easy, too. Nah, that... It was no pushback. I, 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 I... <laughs> Bruh. Defend it. <laughs> you can't. I can't. Oh, 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 man. Would you want to end up on a poster? Oh. No. Oh, no. no. Oh, in Kyle's, in Kyle's no. Me or lack defense. thereof. Yeah, and Kyle's LeBron. De- <laughs> and Kyle's LeBron defense. He pulled his Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was, he was playing LeBron's defense. You know, he had his hands up. Uh, wow. Yeah, but that he was, was standing funny. sideways. Yeah. Like, he, was, he, was, he, was, he, was, he took a step back. He might as well just kept his hands down. That's what I'm saying. He took a step Yo. back. He wasn't no, oh, he, he no problem. That's a god don't like ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you talking about my man Kyle? Hey. You talking about my man Kyle? <laughs> oh man! <laughs> Yo, LeBron had a few of them plays. Why you ain't put them up on the brawlers? Oh, if you, oh, if, you, you, if, if you watch, if, no, 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 I'm saying, nah. I'm saying, I'm saying today, not, uh-oh, not, uh-oh, not before, uh-oh, not uh-oh, today. Uh-oh, uh-oh, if you, if you uh-oh. watch, if you watch last week's episode, LeBron took up the whole bra segment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, so catch another one today. There's a few. There was a few from the Lakers game. Find one. Uh oh, oh, oh. Well, I'm sorry, I didn't watch the game. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry about the tone. Right? You got me. <laughs> sorry about the tone. 
You got me in my feelings. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and and the last bro goes to the New York Football Giants. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> okay. I'm gonna just get well, before you even start. Yeah. Bro. To the Jets fans out say. there, we looking real good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for for trading one of the best oh. wide receiving talents oh. in today's NFL oh, man. to what the they, Browns. What are they thinking about? Bruh. And I have New York teams. And <laughs> and I have something to say about the Giants organization right now. Oh, okay. Which which Get is, is which is pissing me off right now. Get it off your chest. They're stuck in this mentality where it's like this old school mentality, this old white man mentality. <laughs> Where <laughs> I went there. <laughs> Where they believe that players have to act a certain way. They just they just have to shut their mouths and play on the field. Oh, shut up, catch, catch a play. Exactly. Catch a play. And until the Giants realize that today's a new day, a new age, bringing people with fresh ideas, who knows how to utilize a Talent like OBJ and Saquon on the same damn team. Y'all gonna hurt Saquon. On the same damn team. Bringing people who knows how to adjust to today's NFL and make use of that talent and make the team good. You don't trade away a talent like that. Mm. Giants are just pissing me off with this old school mentality. It's, it's a new day and age. Bringing people with new, with fresh ideas, new talent, young minds. Amen. <laughs> Scott Perry is done in a few years. <laughs> Get hired by the Giants. <laughs> I mean, you're saying it's possible to play football. I'm sure he knows football too, though. <laughs> or y'all could just come over to the other side, be a Jets fan with your boy. Okay. Here's where we stop. Yeah. Yeah. Here's where we stop. <laughs> Oh, nah. man. oh man! You got that boy right? Levy on. Nah, I'm, I mean, I thought he was about to cry. I'm like, <laughs> oh man! Right? <laughs> nah, man, that like, yo, that shit hurt me though. Nah, it was just, oh, it was, a, it was, a, that has to be up there with the stupidest things that the Giants have done. Yeah, in history. Hey, but y'all still got Eli. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other. <laughs> Yo, that could be. Know. We could make a whole other show. Like yeah, that, alone. Kathy got control But um, <laughs> Just you know. try to get you for that Kyle Quinn. Like, <laughs> like, like I, 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 I just heard Kevin laugh so hard all episode. I just, <laughs> I just, 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 so I just do not understand the Giants line of thinking. Then on top of that, they signed an old ass wide receiver, Golden <laughs> Tate, thirty one years old to four years, twenty three million dollars, twenty three million guarantee. Like I don't understand that. It's just baffling to me. You keep Eli for another year. Where if we let him go, we would have saved seventeen million off the exactly. cap. Exactly. <laughs> should have been well, exactly to where we would to where we could reinforce the offensive though. line or something. Should have been let Eli draft go. Dwayne Haskins in the upcoming draft. Have have your quarterback there for like the next ten years. To and then he, right then then with, then with the new quarterback coming in, I think the Giants need he you. has he has two he right. <laughs> They need Ryan. And, and then with and then with the new with that quarter new quarterback coming in, you have two guys with great talent already did on you, the roster. Did you write about this already in one of your blog in one of your blogs? I'm not writing on football right now, but okay. <laughs> I'm like, you said that to get a lot of us. You know, so this is all pretty recent, so you know, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Listen. Yeah. Saw yeah. the Giants of Time. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, Giant I, time. There we go. I, I don't I don't know, man. That that thing pissed me off and then on top of that OBJ is a part of Scorpio Nation too, so that uh, pissed me off even uh, more. Yeah, so I'm now like, mad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. oh my goodness! Well, yo, I saw this dope. There was this yo complex posted this funny video of um, a cat trapped in a room, mm. in and no, in a store. And what's the dude from New York's name? Damn. Um, I'm gonna send it to you, Ryan, because it was about OB, OBJ leaving, mm-hmm. and the dude was screaming at the cat like, "I'm gonna get you out." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And they were like, this is OBJ to say Quan right now. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. Wow. Who said it to you, right? It was really Shots good. It was a really good laugh. Fire, Pet man. That's... <laughs> Ryan's like, I'm not it's even opening that. I don't want to see that. <laughs> it's on 10. 
Don't you oh, dare no. put Kyle <laughs> Quinn in, in the bro pick ever again. <laughs> yeah, don't do it again. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and I'm telling you, throughout this season, this upcoming season, mm-hmm. every game that OBJ performs well for the Browns and the Giants can't put up more than 14 points on the damn board, Facts. I'm going to post about it. Facts. <laughs> Facts. And it's going to happen. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Another beautiful episode. Full house. The band is back together. Yay. Um, social media time. So you can follow me at Edson Sean. That's E D S O N S E A N. I have a lot of dope new music coming out. So follow. Right. Oh, also on Mondays, Freestyle Mondays, follow my page and check that out. Yeah. I don't even know how to do the outro. I mean, I want people to. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You can find me at J L S Draws Things on Instagram. That's J E L L I S Draws Things, and yeah, what I, I said I do, I, I draw draw things. And check out the new merch too. I got Mitch. Oh yeah, look the hat. The, the hat is. Oh yeah, I got a copy of merch right by the way. Hmm? So I got caught me some merch by the way. Oh yeah, word, yeah. Word. Okay, oh, we, we each need to get one of them hats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I need one of them hats. Test it out to make sure it looks right before I put it out to the people. Of but, course. <laughs> 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 but I should. It should be up by the time you see this show. Dope, dope. Yeah, yeah. Con, yeah. where can they find you? I'm everywhere, man. Just go outside. Yeah, that's it. Our last stand up, we in the building once again. All right. Ryan, where can they find you? Um, they can find me on IG at Sir G is chilling. That's S I R. Oh, my fault. Oh, oh, see. <laughs> Sir G. Jay was on it. Jay was on it. Let's rewind and come again. <laughs> Uh, I, Brian, where can they find you? <laughs> I, they can find me on IG at Sir G is Chillin'. Sir G is Chillin'. That is S I R G is C H I L L I N. And all these Knicks, all you Knicks fans out there, I'm sorry I'm not going to be writing on Knicks content at the moment because mm. I'm busy with college basketball. But I promise you, once the college basketball season is over and the tournament is over, I will get back to writing Knicks content. So be on the lookout for that. Word. Right. And Kathy, where can they find you? I am uh, K T A underscore K T H Y S T E E L E. <coughs> Kathy Steele. Uh, wonderful. Everywhere. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. And that's it. Yeah? Yeah. Peace. Peace and love out to where you're from. But all of us will ever come. Say a bit. Bright lights, big city. Bright lights, big city. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Represent for my New York City crew. Say a bit. Bright lights, big city. Bright lights, big city. New York, New York, big city of dreams. I'm coming, coming, I'm coming straight out. New York, New York, big city of dreams. In, 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 in,